Hello everybody, welcome to, uh, hello racing fans, I'm sorry, hello, ra hello racing fans, welcome to my channel, Off the Top Lane, with Blades Only, so we're going to continue our season with Tyler Reddick here, who I'm going to actually give you guys a, um, uh, let's see, I'll give you guys a little recap here, and, um, hold on, let me give you guys a little recap on the season standings, I turned off the music, and the reason why I turned off the music was I didn't want to get copyrighted, if anybody, if, you know, YouTube checks that out, I didn't want to get my videos deleted or whatever, so I turned off the music just for copyrights only because I know a, a, a few videos ago I did not turn off the music and uh, so and there will be no stages in this race so we are back um, it's, we're going to Phoenix Raceway very difficult uh, racetrack for for me uh, in this game actually I struggle in this uh, racetrack I played it a couple times in just an exhibition just to try it out and it's just really really tough uh, I tried a couple setups too with the default setup so um, yeah we're th that will become a factor anyways but Phoenix Raceway a very short track so we got Tyler Reddick in first we got Denny Hamlin in second Jimmy Johnson after DNFing did not hurt his chances but he hurt his chances in points and uh, you know, in the playoff standings, he kind of dropped. But in the season standings, he still got that win. So that's all Jimmy Johnson's really worried about is that win. Or not really worried about it. He's just worried about staying consistent and, add, and getting more points. Um, Kevin Harvick, despite having a good outing at Auto Club uh, yesterday, um... Pretty much came in second, and um, despite a not having a win, he's still up there in the in the top five in the standings. Ryan Blaney again, consistently getting top tens. That's all you can ask for. And Josh Balicki is doing a monster job, just like Josh. I mean, just like I want to say, Josh Reddick. I'm thinking about that basketball player, Josh Reddick from Duke. Tyler Reddick. Um. So him and Balicki there are kind of like dueling out for the Rookie of the Year. So interesting storylines too with Reddick and Balicki. But as far as contending with Balicki, he's doing an excellent job. Joey Logano did not hurt his chances. Uh, really not affected uh, by that or whatever. He still is in decent shape um, with 7th place. BJ McLeod um, still, you know doing a surprising job. Kyle Busch is still looking for that first win. Chase Elliott is uh, con consistently getting top 10s. He's been in the top 10. Uh, I don't I don't, I can't really uh, remember. I had to go back and check the standings for um for um uh Las Vegas where he's uh where he finished. But Eric Jones is still can stay consistent. Mark, Martin Truex finally broke out of his funk. Matthew Benedetto is doing an excellent job. And the number historic, historic Brother Woods, number 21 car. And Alex Bowman in, uh, in, in staying really trying to get uh, stay competitive in the playoff hunt. Alex Bowman um, finally broke out of his funk, tied with Benedetto. So him and Benedetto and Martin Truex Jr. is fighting for points here. Christopher Bell still. Ryan Newman broke out of his funk after DNFing in Las Vegas. So these are the playoff standings. And I'm going to go to the point standings. And you can see uh, uh, Kevin Harvick is in second place. And Ryan Blaney and Josh Balicki and Joey Logano. So you can see that... Um, uh, Jimmy Johnson dropped out of the season standings after that DNF in Vegas, but he's still right there. So he just needs to be kind of cautious and not DNF and not having bad bad finishes uh, with this. So again, guys, there's no stages. I put stages off, so it kind of messed up the the. They kind of messed up the points here, um, with the with the thing. But you see. 
you know, um, Tyler Reddick really needs to uh, try to stay in front uh, with points because uh, Kevin Harvick and Ryan Blaney and Josh Balicki is on his ass. So, again, Balicki having a bit of a rivalry with Kyle Busch and with with uh, Tyler Reddick. Not as much as in, like, rivalry as in, like, messing around on the track. Just as far as points, they're both having monster seasons. Uh, for each other, so a bit of another storyline too with um, Richard Petty Racing, uh, Daryl Wallace again not attending this Cup Series. We don't know why. We'll probably get an update on that. So as far as that, but that's how that's the standings right here, and that's the points for everybody wondering about points and how um, where, where's all the drivers at at points. So we are going to get into this race, and we're going to have a quick qualifying. And uh, see where we end up now. In the uh, in the uh, Auto Club series, we did not see uh, Tyler Reddick have a good car. So hopefully, who, who, his pit crew had a good car. Actually, we had an interview with Tyler and his pit crew on why he could. He just the car didn't seem right. Uh, so we're gonna have an update later on that. So right now, uh, we're just gonna see. The drivers and Tyler Reddick uh, get qualifying and hopefully for a good position. Hopefully Tyler can get a good position here and um, you know really set him up for a uh, a good finish here and um, I mean a good start here in Phoenix. So we'll see what Tyler does and um, oops I'm sorry we'll see what Tyler does here as. Um, we're gonna skip practice and we're going to um, we're gonna go uh, to the qualifying. So here we go. We're gonna go for the qualifying. So again, Tyler just trying to feel out the car here. Uh, remember, in Auto Club, he could not turn. So we'll see if that's an issue here in Phoenix. Here again, Phoenix a very very short track and a very weird track as far as um ooh, almost hit that wall again um very uh difficult track to figure out here the top lane doesn't work in this track i mean even in real uh, i don't work in real life but even in kind of like uh you know you want to stay on the bottom as much as you can you had to figure with tyler having turning issues in auto club and you really could not uh, turn well, so we'll see if that has an issue with Tyler in qualifying. How do you think we measured up? So we measured up and we came into the back. So again, Tyler this year really not doing that well in qualifying. So we'll see who won the pole actually. And again, our Auto Club winner Denny Hamlin is in uh, uh, good in here and Ryan Blaney and Kyle Busch and Daniel Suarez you see Daniel Suarez needs a win so hopefully he can get that good qualifying spot and actually do it and again we see our that rookie again Josh Balicki Josh Balicki is always right there and Martin Truex Jr. William Byron got a good uh, qualifying spot Matt Kenseth and Kevin Harvick is also there and Matthew Benedetto rounds out the top 10 in qualifying so Again, Kevin Harvick is very good at this track. He had a very good at dominating this track. He's very good at this track. So we'll see if Kevin can move up from ninth to first and give Denny bits here. So we are going to uh, start the race. Stories of the race here is that we'll see if Kevin Harvick uh, can go from ninth to first because he's very good at this track. There's no stages in this race. Let's get going. Here we go at IMS Speedway. At, in Phoenix, as Denny Hamlin is your pole winner, he says he has it to the front. Uh, Qu Quinhoff engine uh, change after qualifying, so he started in the back, and Ryan Priest failed the opportunity scanning station multiple times, so Ryan Priest is starting in the back. So here we go, Tyler Reddick uh, got a poor qualifying, and here we go. The green flag is in the air here in Phoenix as we start on the bottom lane. If you want to stop, if you want to start in the bottom lane here in Phoenix as we go our first lap here, 
320, uh, 312 laps to go. Yeah, this is a full race, no stages, and we get, oh, we got kind of, kind of good contacted with El Marola. Didn't mean to do that. Tyler just went right in there, not knowing where his position was, and actually, and got into Tyler. I mean, uh, Eric. Eric did not like that. Luckily, Eric saved it. As Tyler is just trying to feel out positions and and uh, trying to figure out this track uh, again. Tyler really not comfortable with uh, this track here. And you see some different paint schemes by these drivers here. You see Chris Butcher and the Sunny D. Uh, and the Sunny D. Um, he's in the Sunny D uh, car here. You see Chase Elliott right behind, uh, right beside Chris Butcher here. And he's in his paint scheme. So it's a different paint scheme by these, I mean, different uh, paint scheme by these guys. Tyler had to check up there a little bit. And he is not comfortable with this racetrack. He's trying to go high there, but he's really worried about that wall here. You see Ricky Stenhouse Jr. right in back of uh, Tyler here. Tyler's just trying to uh, not really make contact with these guys real quick. And he tries to go three wide to the. Uh, Again, this trackway uh, uh, to the Ty Dillon goes right past uh, Tyler Reddick there. So Tyler, it looks like, uh, uh, looks like Dillon has a pretty good car as he's showing that speed and that horsepower as Ty Dillon uh, gets past Tyler, uh, Tyler Reddick to leave. And you see his, uh, his uh, RCR teammate, Austin Dillon, in the Joe car, the number three car, as Dillon tries to tell his racing teammate to get going there. So. You can see uh, Tyler Reddick not really comfortable with this track. He goes, back, goes beyond that yellow line, almost into the dog leg of uh, Phoenix. And that is actually a penalty in real life. You cannot go with that dog leg. You'll get a penalty if you go off the track. Well, again, Chris Butcher is feeling very, very classy after that fiasco of uh, Daytona when they got into it. Chris Butcher is very, very competitive now with Tyler. As he's not letting Tyler get to the bottom line, and really not not much contact he's seen with these drivers. Really trying to feel each other out as Tyler gets past Chris Butcher, and he heads for Joe uh, John Nemechek or uh, John Hunter Nemechek right here. John Hunter Nemechek uh, really not doing good this year. Uh, uh, as, after that good start in Daytona, where it seemed like he had a pretty good fast car and uh, was in the front row a little bit and dropped back. So John Hunter really after Daytona really laid a few that here at uh, Vegas and in Auto Club, uh, Auto Club yesterday. They raised that Auto Club. So whoever wins this race will be good on points. If Tyler Reddick can win this race, he'll be well ahead uh, of good on points. Or if Denny Hamlin can actually win, he got the pole. Seems like Denny figured out his problem from Daytona and really picked his car up. Uh, so um, as we check with the uh, with NASCAR, NASCAR said that uh, whoever wins this race, uh, the purse will be pretty high for the driver. I think it's twenty three point six million dollars for the winner here in Phoenix today. So, you know, Tyler and every driver wants to get that, help them, help them out with their future in the car. And, you know, some of these owners, they would love to have that as these drivers try to uh, win that prize purse in here in Phoenix. Again, Phoenix is a very, very weird track, very short track, too. Uh, so, um... Yeah, Tyler has really not had much success here, and that's probably one why he's going, not really going full throttle, just going full throttle on straightaways right here on the straightaway. And he's really slowing down and having to check it up and braking right here on these corners right here. Again, he is, um, his car is very good, actually. It feels pretty good. Uh, he's able to turn. He's going to be able to turn in qualifying. So, a different result from Auto Club as um, he's still hugging that high lane and again Tyler loves the high lane in all tracks and he has no problem staying up there if it's going to work so as he gets a little bit by BJ McLeod there BJ McLeod doing a hell of a job this year uh, exceeding 
well over expectations uh, for his uh, career here in NASCAR. As you see William Byron in the uh, yellow first pink team. And Tyler Reddick is right beside William Byron to pass him here. And you can see Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman band bounced back at Auto Club. Had a really good top five. And a, and, a, and a top five finish here at uh, uh, yesterday at Auto Club. So William Byron, I mean William Byron. Alex Bowman trying to bounce back from his uh, awful uh, showing at Vegas and Daytona. So one race does not make you. And that's what Bowman said in an interview. Uh, when we talked to him, he said that he had that pretty awful start at Daytona and Vegas, but he says two races don't make you. So maybe he had it going, and he's a late bloomer and a late start. Start as Tyler Reddick gets right a little bit into that dog leg uh, or off the track and gets past Bowman. Very dirty move by Tyler Reddick, but again, Tyler Reddick trying to use every inch he can off this track trying to get really good track position as he gets another lap in 27.239 not the fastest lap that Tyler's run but he's trying to be better on this track as he has to go way down and doesn't want to hit that wall he's lucky um, lucky Alex Bowman wasn't going at, 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 at uh, uh, top speed to capitalize and um, really um, capitalize off of Tyler uh, Reddick's mistake. So Tyler Reddick making a little Tyler Reddick making a little bit of rookie mistakes here, going into that dog leg a little bit, and he has to check up on these corners and these turns. Uh, again, he said he said he had a pretty uh, awful showing at uh, Auto Club, but did not hurt him in position. He still got a top five. But in reality, we should have never got that. So as you see, we got a 27.128. We ran our practice clap of the race. So again, see as the, as the run goes on, you can see if Tyler Reddick's car is getting faster as the run goes on. He just has to race smart and not do anything too drastic. But he's losing the pack a little bit as Ryan Blaney just passed Denny Hamlin. He got a huge lead over the pack. This is what can happen in these short tracks where you can lose focus and you can fall behind and not be able to catch up if you not know what you're doing. So Tyler Reddick really needs to hit his mark and run precisely black. As again, Ryan Blaney uh, trying to get his first one of the years. We see another rookie in Chris Rebell uh, driving the number 95 uh, Toyota car for um, Berlin Racing. As we see in Berlin, they're trying to sell that uh, racing team actually. And you see a Hall of Famer in Bobby Labani. Bobby Labani is looking to buy LeBron Racing and put, oh, I don't know if Christopher Bell is going to be in that car next year, but if Christopher Bell is not in that car, um, Bobby Labani uh, looking to buy LeBron Racing and hopefully put a good driver in that number 95 car next year. You see Cole Custer in the number 41 Stuart Haas car. He's not having a good year, not really happy with himself, and um, really needs to represent that uh, that car really well. Because that car has had much success and had good drivers over the years, like Kurt Busch and uh, a couple other uh, guys drove the number 41 for Stuart Haas. And you can see Brad Kowalski. DNF at Auto Club yes, uh, yesterday, yesterday afternoon he DNF, so he's not really happy with his results this year. He smacked towards the wall. Uh, Tyler Reddick but did not hurt him. And you see Brad down here uh, going to the turn. And right behind Jimmy over here, Jimmy DNF. So a lot of these drivers are DNFing in these races. A lot of the top guys too, not much of the the bottom, uh, like, the, like a lot of top guys are DNFing, so really hurting their chances of winning. Maybe they're trying to be so aggressive, too aggressive, that they're 
uh, putting a lot of work and wear and tear on that car. But as you see, uh, Tyler Reddick is getting behind Jimmy, working his way up the be uh, up the the pack here a little bit, taking him enough time, uh, a lot of time to actually get up to the pack. And no, it's not easy to do when you have to. Um, not really familiar with the track, and that's what Tyler said. He's not really had much success here in Phoenix. Uh, he just doesn't feel comfortable here in Phoenix for some reason. As he was uh, telling us as he leaves his uh, as he goes another lap. Oh, it makes contact with Stenhouse. And uh, Stenhouse goes all the way around. That might be a caution there. As uh, Tyler Reddick went right into Stenhouse and really did not mean to do that. But, um... Yeah, what a weird um, scenario here as Tyler just went right in there. Tyler is really not known to be aggressive. He has not shown his aggressiveness this year. But uh, kind of drove it right into Stenhouse when he really should have done that. What he should have done is he should have stayed in back of Stenhouse and let uh, the, like in football, let the play develop. But he didn't do that. So what a... What, um, Horrible decision by Tyler Reddick as Tyler actually benefits from that and moves up seven spots. So we don't know if that really has an um, if he did that on purpose just to get a caution and just to get up to the pack because you see the leader he was he was uh, breaking away from the pack actually. So we don't know if Tyler did that on purpose. So, pretty dirty move by Tyler Reddick here as he's going to lose a lot of positions actually off that restart. And there he is. Ricky Stenhouse is right there after he spun him out. So, great job by Ricky. Uh, a little contact there. Oh, another contact by Brad Kowalski there. Brad trying to fight Reddick for position. Reddick just needs to really be careful about these drivers here. They're really not happy of what he did to Ricky Stenhouse Jr. But again, we don't know if that was on purpose or not. As you see Brad down here, he gets right beside um, Reddick here as Reddick tries to go up top. He's trying to burn these drivers from the top, but really not getting that good horse. Oh, and another contact with BJ McLeod there. BJ. Oh, BJ gets loose. As these drivers are being so aggressive with Tyler here, we don't know if that's on purpose or not, but what a good save by BJ McLeod after uh, Tyler Reddick bumped into him by accident. But so what, uh, what a great job by uh, BJ, McC uh, BJ McLeod of saving that, because that could have been another caution actually, as Tyler Reddick tries to get behind BJ, trying to a little bit past BJ, so we don't know what's going on as Daniel Suarez loses position. And here we go, here we go again, up into the middle of the pack, trying to get Bowman a bump track again. Can't really bump track in these short tracks because of how short the track is. So these drivers really need to uh, not be so aggressive as Tyler Reddick keeps bumping right into BJ McLeod, and hopefully BJ can save it and he did. So what a great job by BJ McLeod of uh, saving it. So like I said, these short tracks are very, very uh, compressed, and these drivers are very agitated and want to get up there up front. As we see another spin out by oh by Matt Kenson. We don't know what happened to Matt. Matt did a 360. We seen smoke coming from Matt's car, but we did we do not know what's happening up up there as Tyler is in the middle of the pack. So Tyler um, is um, in 24th. He really wants to uh, consistently stay in top 10. So again, um, uh, Tyler um, really look, uh, looking to get, get another top 10. As we're not going to pit, we're going to stay out there. Hopefully, not to lose any track position. But what a what an interesting development of a story here with Matt Kenseth. Matt Kenseth. Uh, again, re representing uh, Kyle Lawson's old car, as Kyle Lawson um, really um, left that car on some 
racial slurs that he said, that he did and actually um, he's in the Dirk series um, racing so we had an interview with Kyle and he said that he's very happy uh, with uh, uh, racing and not having the pressures of winning here in the big, in the big race so very happy about what, what, where his position is as Tyler Reddick just tries to get behind his RCR teammate Austin Dillon. Austin is kind of in no man's land uh, in that middle third high of the lane and he formed a wall on the back, on the bottom here as Blaney, Blaney, we've seen Blaney drop spots here. Blaney was leading the uh, race here for a little bit as you see a couple of damaged cars in fact. I think that's Eric Jones who might have damaged that right that that front end as you see it's kind of smashed in the in the back. So we don't know what's going on in the back. We don't know what's going on in the front. All we can see is Tyler Reddick's view as Tyler Reddick uh, goes to the bottom and really not happy with it. Uh, bumping into these drivers. So we're going to get a quick word with Tyler's crew and uh, see where Tyler Red is coming from because Tyler's not happy with himself about uh, the way how this race has gone. As you see Joey Logano there, Joey had a bad outing. Not a really bad outing. He came to the top 20, but really hurt himself in points there. So Joey's trying to really bounce back and get himself a good win so we can get back into that some point standings and so is Brad Kowalski. Brad Kowalski definitely needs a win and he definitely needs points. So um, Brad Kowalski really um, had a horrible start in Daytona as he finished in the um, below his standards. I mean he was like in the 30s I think. I think he finished like 37th. I got to check the standards again guys. I'm sorry. And he had a bad day at Auto, I mean, um, he showed up in Vegas, but really not in the top 10, or even top 15, I think. I think he had a top 15, or, you know, no, he had a top 10. I'm not, I'm not sure. But he finished really well in Vegas, and then he went to Auto Club and DNF, so that really hurt Brad Kowalski. Uh, that really hurt Brad Kowalski's, uh, 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 race in uh, the point. So Brad trying to bounce back as you see Tyler Reddick got tight again and went up towards that wall there. He said, he, he said he's really, uh, you know, uh, with, um, he, he hasn't been really comfortable with the car ever since Vegas. Ever since that big win at Vegas and at Auto Club, he said he's really not feeling the car. So I don't know if it's, like you said, we don't know if it's the setup or not. We had an interview with the pit crew and Tyler yesterday after Auto Club after that huge big win. I mean that huge uh came in fourth place, so we came in the top ten. But we had an interview with them and they said that it, the car was balanced and um they said uh what could have been the issue with him not turning is the camber of the of the tires. So the camber might have been was affecting why he could not turn. And um, another thing was the uh, suspension of the car, which is the springs. So the springs could have been an issue. They said they tried to go hard springs and they went soft. So that's probably why Tyler Reddick could not turn precisely. Because the suspension and the springs of the car were not allowing him to turn precisely. So that's probably why. Uh, but the pit crew said that he had a good car. They just kind of messed up on the screens there. Uh, everybody makes mistakes. As you see Tyler trying to give uh, Ryan Priest uh, kind of not a, not really a draft, but we're really on his bumper there. As you see Matt Kenseth that spun out, really rebounded well out of the pit and got himself a top 20 or in the top 20. As you see Ryan Priest in that Rovita car. He drove the Kroger car, but you can see Ricky Stenhouse left Ralph Racing and uh, what a great job by Jack Jordan Racing to, um, uh, to pick up Stenhouse as a free agent and put him in that 40, put him in that 47 car and then put Priest and Ryan Bushers or or Bushers or Chris Bushers old car, the 37 car. So uh, 
he's in that car, and you see Cole Custer, he's in number 20, oh, and again, then, uh, 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 Reddick really has to be, uh, to, uh, really cautious about bumping these guys, because this is a short track, and a lot of that, that stuff is not to be tolerated, um, and, and, um, kind of hard to buck draft, um, kind of hard to buck draft in a, uh, short track like this. So again, a lot of accidents can happen here, as, uh, Greg Kowalski, uh, dropped back to 20, and Cole Custer, uh, went up to 19. So, Cole Custer moving up to the field, and Tyler Reddick gets past Brad, and looking to pass Cole Custer. So, again, Harvick, very, very seasoned veteran, is in the lead right now. He's got, uh, again, got, got a huge lead. Not a really huge lead, but a huge lead over Reddick as Cole Custer gives uh, Tyler Reddick a couple bumps to just to let him know, hey, get out of here. I'm right here. You're not going to intimidate me that much. As Tyler Reddick gets right underneath Cole Custer, did not phase him. Two rookies right here doing it out. Custer and Reddick. We haven't seen much of Balicki. I think Balicki is up near the front, and he's having a monster rookie year. As him and Reddick are kind of doing it out for Rookie of the Year. The only thing about it is that Reddick got a win and Balicki does not. So Balicki is really not taking over Daryl Wallace Jr. spot, but we see Daryl not driving the number 43 this year. We don't know why Daryl's not participating. But uh, Petty, Petty uh, Motorsports is not in the cup this year. Um, so we're not going to see that that nice um, historic uh, Baby Blue 43 car by um, uh, Petty Motorsports. As we go up the turn and Tyler Reddick has to really, really uh, check up on those turns. Really does not want to push the car and kind of overdrive it as we see Matthew Benedetto uh, really, really doing a good job in the Woods Brothers car. See the Woods Brothers car, a very famous car here in NASCAR. A lot of good drivers have driven the number 21 car. And uh, the uh, Paul Menard was in that car, but Paul Menard retired and Matthew Benedetto was a free agent and he raced in Christopher Bell's new car, new ride. So he is in the number 21. He's actually doing pretty good. Uh, in the season uh, with uh, the number 21 car not really doing and he got a top 10 in that car and then he got he laid an egg in Vegas but had a really I wouldn't say a really down, uh, a good one but he, he average finishes in um, auto club yesterday afternoon so Matthew Benedetto was still in the playoffs and despite him have, not having a win, he's just consistently uh, finishing strong uh, when it comes down to it. You can see that Tyler Reddick really has to check up as um, a lot of lead changes have come around as Blaney leads uh, for the second time in the race as Harvick lost the spot. Again, Harvick very, very good at this track. I think in NASCAR, He's one of the drivers that won in here a lot. So this is kind of Kevin Harvick's playground here. He knows this track very, very well and has a lot of wins here. So as uh, see Tyler Reddick get back, uh, get some, trying to get some speed into that back stretch. You see Jimmy here has to really slow down because Jimmy checked up on that corner. And Jimmy trying not to overdrive the car or trying to force it. Uh, very smart. Uh, moved by Jimmy, and Tyler Reddick's going to get past Jimmy here on the turn, and uh, kind of uh, not let Jimmy uh, get past him. But as you see, somebody's smoking up there. We don't. Oh, and who got into the wall there again? Matt Kenseth. Matt Kenseth went right into that wall there. That's the second time that Matt Matt Kenseth has done that. We don't know what's going on with his car as um some weird stories are are developing this has been the second time that 
he's done that actually as um, Tyler Red is gonna pit and fix that damage there and he's gonna get um, he's gonna get four tires and he's gonna get more fuel so he's gonna do his first pit stop here but yeah what a what interesting development by uh, Matt Kenseth Matt Kenseth this is the second time he's been in an accident so just like Tyler Reddick was dealing with his car the only difference with Tyler's car yesterday is Tyler did not crash Matt Kenseth is crashing here again a very different uh, a very different uh, vibe from Auto Club to Phoenix here and Phoenix is a very uh, short track and Auto Club is very wide so that's probably why Reddick did not uh, and Reddick did not force the car. It seems like Matt Kent is trying to force that car as um, uh, Tyler Reddick going beyond that yellow line and trying to get fast. Kowalski not having it. And what a great job by Brad Kowalski um, um, getting past Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick should never have crossed. He needs to stay on the track and play fair as Bowman tries to as he gets past Bowman. Oh, and a huge checkup by Kowalski there and Cole Custer as Brad, uh, Tyler had to really get off the gas there. Uh, again, and that corner, and these corners, they really need to let the car roll and not check up that much because an accident can happen by checking up. As you see, uh, Christopher Bell, another rookie, fighting for that rookie of the year. He's not doing really bad this year. He just had a lot of um, inconsistent uh, finishes. And he's trying to side grab Reddick, trying to slow Reddick down. Reddick trying to go to that dog leg and Christopher Bell saying, you're not going to do that. And gets right past him. And Christopher Bell is really fighting to stay in that bottom lane, not let Reddick get down there. And uh, he's doing a great job. I'm really surprised what Christopher Bell is doing and holding that line like that. You don't see that much from rookies. Rookies will make mistakes there. Christopher Bell has really not made none mistakes today. Uh, the rookie that has made mistakes is Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick making a lot of mistakes as uh, being so aggressive. I say not that aggressive, but he's being somewhat semi-aggressive with these drivers. He's already spun out the Stenhouse by accident. Uh, we don't mean if Tyler spun him out on purpose, but after that result of him uh, spinning out Stenhouse, Tyler, after the caution, had a good result. He was in 10th place, but again, he dropped back. So we don't know if that was on purpose of Tyler causing the caution just to get position. So we don't know, but we will definitely have an update on if he was trying to do that on purpose or not just to try to get track position and position as Martin Truex Jr. is in there and if he, and if he did that was a pretty sturdy move by Tyler Reddick of doing that to Stenhouse usually we see Stenhouse causing an accident Stenhouse knows being really aggressive sometimes and uh, really really uh, causing accidents and if we see Stenhouse up there as we do uh, come to uh, lap 246 as Reddick's really trying to get top speed and uh, uh, trying to get past these drivers as he's made it towards the top 20 really not doing it in very dominant way but he's doing it in very uh, methodical way not doing it in dominant he's doing very methodical as you see Kyle Busch here uh, having an average year, but in some racers that would be a good uh, a good season. But in Kyle Busch's case, he's doing horribly this year. He's used to getting top tens and winning races, and he's not really performing that well. As you see, as uh, uh, Tyler Reddick gets past Bush, uh, uh, Blaney, and he just can't get past Cole Custer. Cole Custer did a good job of slowing Reddick down there, not letting. Uh, Reddick pass him. So what a great side draft by uh, Cole Buster. Cole Buster, another rookie, um, trying to really bounce back. 
awful start uh, when the season started, but he looks like he's rebounded pretty, pretty nicely, pretty fast as he kind of slows down to uh, get that corner. So does Reddick. Reddick slowed down a little bit just to try to make that uh, turn perfectly. As we see Logano here, Logano is uh, having a average year, but again, a lot of these drivers know that they can do better. And uh, the season just started. We are in our fourth race of the of the year. So again, a very season is still young, and these drivers know it. So maybe that's why they're not. I would say uh, really worried about it, but. Uh, they're really not performing uh, the way they should, but it's still early, and we'll see. As uh, Jimmy Johnson, after DNF, is in the top ten here in Vegas. I mean, here in Phoenix, and Stenhouse is up here after Tyler Reddick spun him out. We don't know. If, like I said, we'll get an update on that. We don't know if that was on purpose or not. Because Tyler Reddick had a good position after the caution but absolutely lost that position, so it was off or not. That's Stenhouse is in the top 10, as Tyler Reddick uses his draft and tries to, uh, all clear, all clear. No tries to uh, uh, slow down on that corner there, as he had to slam on the brakes a little bit, as um, Matthew Benedetto is in eighth spot. So again, Felicki has a huge, huge lead. So Felicki, looking to get his first win of the year. He's got a great opportunity to do that as he's way ahead of the pack here. And again, this is what happens when you have a short track. Uh, cars are bunched up together and they're in together and you can lose the pack. Uh, the leaders can kind of drift away from the, from the pack a little bit because of, um, the cars are so bunched up together. And really lap traffic has to do with it too, so lap traffic can make an effect here as Reddick is kind of stuck behind uh, Benedetto here as he tries to get past Benedetto. Benedetto's going to cross him up so a little bit. Tyler Reddick's going to have a good, okay straightaway speed as he doesn't let Benedetto uh, get past um, uh, as Reddick doesn't let Benedetto cross him up like that. Just great straightaway speed shown by Tyler Reddick. As um, he fixed the damage on his car, so that could be a lot, a lot why he's gaining speed. Again, um, as when he did not fix the damage on the car in Auto Club, he felt slow. So maybe they should have fixed that damage, but that damage was not really significantly bad. And Tyler did not want to spend time in the pit, so as he hits with the wall there, you see Belicki here. Belicki has a huge lead and really trying to catch up um, to lap traffic. So he's going to actually put some of these guys a lap down. Um, Josh Belicki, I'm really impressed with what Belicki has been doing this year as a rookie. Um, really expecting expectations. Is Again, him and Reddick are fighting for, could be Rookie of the Year. So, Josh Felicki is consistently getting in top 10. And Reddick is doing the same, but the only difference between Felicki and Reddick is that Reddick has won a race and Felicki hasn't. So, a bit of a rivalry with Felicki and Reddick, but not as far as on the track as what I mean by that is that they're having a rivalry in points they're really not having a rivalry on the track so as far as points and standings go they're having a rivalry and battling for rookie of the year so they could actually battle for rookie of the year so depending on how, how far they go and where, where, where they all fan out here and Suarez needs to definitely win here. He's been doing average this year, representing the uh, Gulf Brothers Racing in the Toyota. As he kind of makes contact with Suarez there, 
uh, again, when you're trying to make passes on these short tracks, it's really difficult to make a make a pass here because everything is so compressed. So it's really difficult for Reddick to pass some of these guys um, here in Phoenix because of the short track. So as he gets behind Elliot here and has to really check up because of Elliot trying really not to um, go fast and spin out as you see Matt Kenson spun out two times so we don't know what's going on with Matt Kenson he's probably going to have an interview with Matt here uh, or, or try to get Matt uh, or try to go into Matt Kenson's pit crew uh, to get his, uh, information on why um, um, Matt Kenson is not really having much success in that car this is the second time when he's been in an accident so we'll go back and um, check on his pit crew to see why Matt Kenson is uh, not having a good car as Ty Dillon. Ty Dillon's in the top five, really not doing too, really having a horrible season as Chastain. If we go to, we get to lap traffic finally here. So some of these guys are in the back and they're getting lapped. Um, so these leaders are trying to get past lap traffic as Tyler Reddick bumps right into Ty Dillon's bumper there. You see Ty Dillon's not paying as he gets right behind Denny Hamlin's back bumper as Denny dropped back as being the pole winner and he's in the fourth place so what a great job by Denny as he won his first race of the year yesterday afternoon at Auto Club so he was enough there was your Auto Club winner uh, Denny Hamlin so Denny Hamlin really bounced back nicely he's just trying to stay consistent this year just like everybody in this as you see David Reagan David Reagan is in uh, third place so again a lot of these drivers are trying to feel each other out in the beginning of the race uh, as we're trying to uh, go into Matt Kenson's pit crew here and trying to get in information on why Matt Kenson um, um, crashed into the wall because uh, nobody forced him up there. He kind of like drifted up and couldn't hang on to the car probably. So we're going to get a, an update on Matt Kenseth and why he crashed into the wall. Um, because um, the two cautions that occurred in this game, I'm, just, I'm sorry, the two cautions that occurred in the race all the Matt Kenseth. So Matt Kenseth was the uh, the beneficiary of the cautions of spinning out and see Joey Gates right here uh, in lap, uh, he's, a, he's gonna be a lap down as Tyler Reddick uh, is gonna get his goal here and uh, he's in the top three actually so Balicki had a really strong start but really slowed down I think that lap traffic is slowing Balicki down here as you see Kurt Busch is in uh, second place so what a great job by Kurt Busch um, of trying to have a good season for him as he actually has a horrible he's having a horrible season and uh, yeah so he's got a nice paint team oh as Reddick gets right underneath Bush there. Bush did not we're like that for Tyler Reddick. Again, God. gives him a bump and says, hey, I did not appreciate that. Don't do that again. As Tyler Reddick, this is the second time that Reddick has done something like that. He did it to Stenhouse Jr. and it, and it, and it spun out uh, Stenhouse. Uh, he did try to do it to Bush there. Bush did not uh, spin out but did not appreciate that. As he gave uh, Tyler Reddick a bump on the, on the back that, hey, don't do that as uh, Reddick tries to slow down actually and go to this corner and I really don't think it's on purpose that Reddick is doing that I think Reddick is uh, really not comfortable with this track here he's really not comfortable with the track and every, everything being compressed all around him just makes it hard for a rookie to adjust and that's probably why uh, Tyler Reddick's making a bunch of contact with these guys. Not really trying to do it on purpose. 
but he's really not comfortable of being around guys or being around other drivers and um, because the short uh, the track is so compressed right now it seems like the track is all spread out and the drivers are all spread out but when you get up there they're all together and compressed and again that's what these short tracks can do is make you make it feel like it's spread out and then when you finally do get up there it's all compressed and you can make a mistake so I think that's the problem with Matt Kenseth too. Matt Kenseth not really being so aggressive and uh, really needs to back down on the throttle there. Uh, as you see Tyler is in second place right now. And um, as we get by Eric Jones here, Eric Jones has done a nice job this year having consecutive top 10. Uh, so he did not have, had a top 10 in Daytona did not show up in Vegas and had another good outing yesterday at Auto Club. So Eric Jones trying to stay competitive here as Alex Bowman got back down to earth and is in 25th place. So he's dropped back a lot. Clear. Awesome. There goes our RCR teammate, Austin Dillon. There he is again. And he's not having a good year. Uh, really trying to get Austin Dillon going this year, but we thought it'd be the other way around. We thought it'd be uh, high, uh, I'm sorry. We thought it'd be the other way around as Reddick would struggle because he's a rookie and uh, Austin Dillon will have more success. But it's been the other way around as Reddick has really outclassed his racing teammate buddy in Austin Dillon. As uh, Reddick, uh, gonna make another turn so and try to catch up to Josh Kalicki who's having a, again a monster rookie season and again this is making it tight for the points and now not all tight for the point but all the type for rookie of the year and they're fighting for rookie of the year so again it's still early but man what a great showing by Kalicki as a rookie and Reddick um, really being in top 10 and trying to actually win the race. Reddick said he wants to win this race. Again, there's a nice payout for first place. I think it, I think it's 23 point, yeah, 23.9 million. Whoever wins this race, so if Reddick does win this race, his team and his organization in RCR will get 23.9 million dollars. So what a great payout if you win it here at Phoenix. So Reddick wants that. Reddick wants that. As you see, he sees Belicki for the first time in first place. As Belicki's trying to not get caught up in lap traffic. And I think that's what it was. Belicki was caught up in lap traffic as uh, Ross Chastain is trying to slow down Josh Reddick. I mean, Tyler Reddick. Tyler's not happy. He was right behind Chastain. As, uh... Licky here trying to maneuver his way around that traffic. As you see Chris Busher gives him a little bump there. I mean uh Ryan Priest. I'm sorry, I keep on calling him Chris Busher because Chris Busher's been in the 37 car, so I'm sorry. As Ryan Priest gives uh Tyler Reddick a bump and you see um, Tyler Reddick's gonna lead for the first time in the race as he leads his first lap of Phoenix in lap 214. So, what a great job by uh, uh, Tyler Reddick in um, getting up there and again, just being patient and again, let the, like in football, he's letting the play develop and letting the car drive and not him trying to overdrive the car. So what a great job by Tyler Reddick as he wants to win this race. He told us that he wants to win this race. Uh, so he said he wants to win um, and, and have that nice good payout for first place. So we'll see if Tyler Reddick can, can actually uh, get, a, uh, get, get his wish and get that win here. As we see Kevin Harvick here dominated this racetrack in his over his career. But slipped all the way back to 19th place. So, not a great showing there by um, uh, Kevin Harvick as he's trying to fight his way 
back towards the pass. It really needs a lot of work to do that. As uh, we're going to look at tire wear here. And again, tire wear will come a factor here in Phoenix. Again, just like Auto Club in Las Vegas, uh, tire wear will be a factor here as uh, that tire wear is really starting to wear down. As, um, as, uh, so we'll, we'll see a lot of uh, green flag pit stops here by these drivers because of the tire wear. So again, Josh Felici in second place, and Reddick really needs to try to get a big lead from Felici here. He does not want Felici to get too close to him and give up any track position when he goes to, into that pit. So we'll see what uh, Tyler Reddick, uh, uh, Tyler Reddick's strategy is when he is in first place. So uh, Tyler, we spoke with Tyler. Tyler said uh, we asked him in, in any race, does he feel comfortable in first place? And he says he feels um, a little bit, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, nervous when he's in first place because. He has to, you know, uh, everything's around him and everybody's trying to, you know, get first place for him. So he has to block more and, you know, do other things. And he said that he feels more comfortable getting in first place, well, trying to get in first place than being in first place. So, kind of weird, weird way of putting it. But that's what, that's what Tyler said. As we see Chris Busher, um, Again, uh, him and Reddick were getting into it at the first grade of the year at Daytona, but again, just the, the rivalry has really calmed down and it's really not much of an issue no more. They both moved on and they're, they're so, so focused on winning races now. They're, they're not even worried about that. As you see, uh, Tyler Reddick's going to get his wish as he's Kind of breaking away from Balicki here. Balicki is just right there, though, as you see uh, Ryan Blaney going into pit road. So a lot of these drivers are going to make green flag pit stops here. Uh, can't rely on a caution uh, to get fresh tires and fuel here. As you see in Phoenix, that this raceway does have a lot. It does uh, wear your tires out a lot because you're doing a lot of turning. So. Again, some of these drivers are doing like Kurt Busch, no Kyle Busch and um, Blaine Boyer is going into the pits to get fresh tires. Again, Phoenix is known for having um, a lot of wear on your tires, so a lot of tire wear um, uh, could be the play. And again, in this race here, whoever wins this race, it could be pit strategy. So pit strategy could play a factor here. Not so much in Auto Club. We thought that would be the case in Auto Club, but it really wasn't. We only seen one uh Reddick only made one um new stop uh pit stop. So there was a lot of cautions and a lot of accidents in Auto Club. Um, just like in Vegas. So we only seen a couple here. We thought we'd see a lot more cautions here in Phoenix just because of how short the track is. But that has not been the issue here. We've seen a lot more yesterday in Auto Club in Fontana, California. So Reddick does want to win this race. He said he, he does want to win this race. And he's meeting that goal as he gets a little bit... as he gets a little bit uh, uh, loose there on that corner. We've seen that, that corner there getting loose as he's losing grip on his tires actually and you, you figure out the more the more that he's out there and not with that with losing grip like that in that tire the more you figure that he's going to be in the accident as you see Truex he goes into the pit so maybe Reddick should pit does not want to loosen up that car he's got a pretty big lead here so maybe going into the pitch will not affect his strategy and to not lose any track position 
or even the lead. So what a great job by Balicki, I mean by uh, Reddick here, uh, getting a very big lead as he come up on lap traffic here and trying to separate himself from the leaders. Um, and even Balicki there, Balicki's in second place. Um, he gave us word he's trying to block the bottom. And the bottom lane is pretty much the dominant lane here in Phoenix. Every driver wants to be on the bottom lane. You get a lot of big runs off the bottom. Unlike Auto Club where the top was pretty much the way to go. So again, very different strategies by these drivers as you, they go from track to track and try to figure out what lane works more as you see more as dive bombs and look right underneath Reddick. Reddick is not phased by that. He's seen it all before as Daniel Suarez is maybe trying to be too aggressive because he's trying to get a win here. He needs a win so to get back into respectability. As you see Austin Dillon over here just hanging around and you gotta figure, once Austin Dillon hangs around, you keep letting Dillon hang around, hang around like that, he's gonna break out of his bump. He's, good, he's too good of a driver to uh, not worry about. So Reddick really needs Austin Dillon to wake up from his funk so he can help Reddick. And even Reddick help him. Maybe Reddick can help him get a good spot or actually win a race and get him into the playoffs. Uh, really want to race some buddy in the playoffs with you so they, they can help you out. And that's what Reddick wants uh, Dylan to do. As he comes up and um, as uh, Ryan Newman is in his way and he's going to try to get past Ryan. And he goes up top right here and tries to pass him from the top and does that. Or from the bottom and Christopher Bell is trying to block the bottom lane. He does a magnificent job of blocking the bottom lane. As you can see, Reddick's tires are really, really starting to wear down. You gotta figure there's only a matter of time before um, the tires start to lose grip. And um, Reddick needs to understand that and not be um, so aggressive on these corners and trying to turn fast and going on the throttle that he might spin out and lose grip and spin out. Uh, instead of uh, getting tires and um, if he does spin out, happen to fix that damage and that and he does again he does not want to spend too much time in that pit. So um, Ty Dillon trying to get himself back in respectability as he had a horrible season and near, uh, not even a factor in the standings here. But again, anybody could win. And that's why NASCAR is so fun. Because any driver at any race at any time can, can win. So even the, even your favorite might not be, um, you know, uh, not, not win. So the favorites could not win. Uh, so as Ty Dillon is proving that right now as he's in the respectability of position. As Justin Haley is trying to block the bottom, tripped it up, and that was a mistake, and Reddick knew it, and he took the opportunity to get underneath uh, Justin Haley. And you got to figure, uh, Tyler Reddick um, has to pit pretty soon. He's got a big, again, a big sizable lead from Bolicki here. So you figure if he pits it, it's, um, it gets tires and fuel, will he fix the damage and spend more time in the pit? So we don't know that, but his pit crew is trying to tell him to come in to the pit. Reddick is ignoring that a little bit, going back on his radio and saying, I need more few more laps. So we'll see if Tyler, um, but Tyler Reddick, he should listen to his pit crew and he's going to do that right now. He's going to listen to his pit crew and pit crew telling him to come in and you see Tyler Reddick slowing down. He's going to go into the pit. Now. Well, he does not want to take any kind of chances. So what a great job by um, his pit crew in telling him, hey, you need to come into the pits 
because your tires are getting worn out. So as he takes four tires, and he's gonna take that extra can of fuel, and he's not gonna fix the damage because the damage is not really significant in his speed. So again, just like Auto Club in Daytona, he has really not had that much damage on the car. He's been keeping the car clean this year. So his pit crew is so glad about that as you see after that spin out as you see one guy in um, pit lane. As this will be the first green flag pit stop of Reddick. Again much more earlier than Auto Club in Daytona as he comes out of Perk Road here and again uh, a very very interesting decision by Reddick here um, of going into uh, pitting early uh, again he had that nice strategy at Auto Club so you really didn't need to pit that, that much in Auto Club because you stayed on the high lane Phoenix a much different racetrack with the bottom you have to use the bottom or you're going to lose position and uh, lose speed up there so very different uh, track strategy here uh, and he has to pit way more earlier than what he's accustomed to as uh, he goes behind Benedetto here Benedetto is in 10th place trying to pass Benedetto and he does and he gets in 10th place as Benedetto was down there oh and he had to really check up on Eric Jones Eric Jones kind of checked up on that corner again that corner is a lot dangerous as um, you really have to take your time and be slow in that corner as Eric Jones did right there as he gets past Quinn Hoff and um, 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 Alex Bowman as Alex Bowman tries to give him a little thing and we see our caution. So again, this could come into play because again, Reddick pitted a few, a few laps ago. He pitted so he doesn't need he doesn't need, um, he doesn't need to go in the pits. But could that tire wear, as he went on, could that tire wear, um, you know, last longer? Could he, could he go an extra couple laps more? And try to hope for a caution. But he, Reddick and his pit crew really didn't want to take that chance and played it safe and Reddick pitted. So Reddick's not going to pit here. And he's going to get pretty good position as he gets the wave around. So he really did not lose any position as Joey Legato got the wave around too. So here we go here in Phoenix as Reddick starting off where he likes at the top. And as Jimmy Johnson gets spread past him too. He's going to go back down and try to get uh, some um, position back. Uh, so that caution um, really did not uh, help. Really did not help Reddick. Reddick did not need a caution because he already pitted and he was in pretty good position anyway uh, to make the pass as Reddick does a dirty move to get past Ben and gone there. Uh, if you have to do that in the short track, you can't really drive the track and on the track because of positioning, you don't want to give up that good position. As Jimmy's just waiting for uh, Reddick to make a mistake. Reddick does make a mistake. Jimmy goes right back downstairs. And he has to really check up because he couldn't put him off. Not really uh, did that on purpose, but Reddick is going way too fast. As Jimmy gives him a little bump, trying to uh, disrupt uh, Reddick here. As, um, as Jimmy's trying to let uh, uh, Reddick know, hey, you're a rookie. Uh, I've seen it all before. You're not going to do that. And Kyle Busch goes right upstairs, right next to uh, Reddick here. Jimmy is really fighting, trying to get his, uh, as you see, Quinn Hoff. Quinn Hoff tried to give um, Reddick a checkup. Uh, not a checkup, but a bump. So, again, a lot of checking it off and bump trapping not bump trapping but give it, making contact with these guys and it's very dangerous here on a uh, short speedway and you see Bush is 23rd again having a horrible 
not a horrible year, but you know, not to push the standards. Bush is a much more accomplished driver than that, but really have to focus on the truck and the Xfinity series, so he's really not at his A game here in the Cup this year. As Joey Gates, you try to get past Joey Gates, and ooh, Joey Gates, big contact with us, he hit the wall there. We had so much momentum going, that wasn't really Gates' fault, that was more Reddick's fault. Reddick going too fast, and just the momentum of Gates there really had an effect on, um, on, um, on that outcome, so really not, not really Joey Gates' fault, um, why, why that happened, it's more Reddick's fault of going so fast in that corner, and he turned right into Joey Gates' um, uh, what do you call that? He turned right, his rear end turned right into Joey Gates' hood. Oh, the front end of Joey's car, and he kind of slipped and did that. So that's not really Joey Gates' fault, as Chris Butcher is right there in 30th place. Well, after that, uh, after that rivalry that uh, Reddick had with Butcher since Daytona, Butcher is kind of like laid back and kind of forgot about it. So did Reddick there. So these two drivers still have. I wouldn't say a rivalry, but they're showing a lot of respect for each other. They have a lot of respect for each other. Again, um, uh, Butcher really uh, did not like Reddick. Uh, thought he was a rookie. Or uh, you know how it is when rookies come into um, you know when rookies come in, veterans try to show them up and try to intimidate them, and that's what Butcher did in Daytona and. Uh, Tyler Reddick was not having none of it, and uh, and that's what happened. You know. But after that, Jimmy Johnson is. Uh, we can see Jimmy up there, and that's not Jimmy. That's uh, our teammate uh, Austin Dillon. So I'm sorry, as Jimmy Johnson has pushed his way uh, towards the front of the pack again. Jimmy upset about DNFing an auto club. So trying to bounce back from that auto club as um, Tyler Reddick just gonna say hi. Kinda lead uh, Eric Jones up there. Eric not really uh, blocking the bottom that well so we're just gonna use that, kinda cross him up and take the take the lead from the bottom as Bowman is there and we give him a bump. Bowman slows down, has to, as uh, he gets that good straightaway speed, and he burns Reddick off the straightaway. So again, nice job by Alex Bowman of losing that position, and then when the straightaway came, he burned Reddick off the straightaway. So what a great job by Alex Bowman of not giving up and saying, hey, you're not going <laughs> to... Some of these veterans over here are not really too fond of... <laughs> Tyler kind of Reddick here, <laughs> um, and uh, they really don't, they have a lot of respect for Reddick, it's just more of um, funny antics with these drivers in Reddick here, uh, so Reddick is still adjusting to the Cup series, again much more different from Xfinity from Cup, but uh, yeah, so he gets past the Dark Yard team, uh, trying to get past the Dark Yard team, uh, AD, and trying to give AD a bump there. He's trying to get Austin Dillon going this year. Um, Austin Dillon is really not having much of a factor. And Austin Dillon finally shows some fight, but just gives up and just lets Reddick take the position. So we don't know why Austin Dillon is um, having a bad year. And finally we see Jimmy Johnson. So after Jimmy checked our uh, bump, Reddick, it's an old veteran move you know, that you're not going to pass a veteran like that, and Jimmy said, I'm a veteran, I'm a seven-time champion, uh, I've done, I've, I've done it all here in that car, you haven't done anything, Reddick, so, as he's showing up Reddick, and, um, but, you gotta figure that Reddick is not phased by that, and Reddick has a lot of respect for Jimmy Johnson, so, as you see Christopher Bell, 
uh, was in the top 10. Kind of dropped, kind of dropped off, and um, you know is in the is in the top. Uh, it's kind of like uh, not top 20, but below the top 20. As you try to get past him here, as he's got that uh, that, that paint scheme, that pro four paint scheme. Uh, uh, the Brady Brother Racing. Again, Bobby Labani. Uh, think about buying Laverne Racing. Um, and um, having a partnership probably with Joe Gibbs. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> so, but um, as we get past, as we get finally close to Jimmy. Jimmy right behind, um, I want to say Chris Butcher, I'm sorry. Ryan Priest as we get another caution. So again, we can stay out of here or we can pit. But uh, I don't think we I don't think we want to pit. So we're not going to pit here. We're going to stay out there, try to get some kind of position. As you see, Josh Balicki, Josh Balicki has dominated this race. We thought it would be Denny Hamlin. So Denny Hamlin has kind of. Stayed in the top 10 at, after being so fast in qualifying. And uh, a lot of the same here, you know, uh, from Auto Club. Just a lot of new faces around here like Ty Dillon. Ty Dillon's in the top 10. So just a lot of a lot of new faces as we jump up eight spots. And, of course, Jimmy Johnson is right there as Dr. Luke pitted and lost two spots. So here we go, back at uh, the green flag back in the air here in Phoenix as Jimmy Johnson shows that great straightaway speed as we do too and so Jimmy Johnson that hey we got straightaway speed too so Ty Tyler Rennick is really not defending that bottom as he does perfectly right there as he's trying to break away from the pass just a little bit he's getting up here to the uh, good uh, the, the, the good run he got off the top and we're going to check the leaderboard here and David Reagan, David Reagan's gonna, he was in first place here just a little bit as Denny Hamlin tried to, tried to figure out how to get past, um, uh, the Tyler Reddick as he does, trying to go on top, but really can't get that speed from the top, oh, and he gets, oh, ooh, 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 and he gets, uh, Tyler Reddick a, a, a bump, you've seen that a lot here, oh, as Belicki gets loose there, tries to go right into Denny, then he's really not made by Belicki there. He's seen it all before. Belicki's a rookie. And he got loose and, and, and went into Hamlin. Hamlin's seen it all before. And uh, 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 kind of like went beside him like that. And uh, Reddick going a little bit too fast and bumped into that wall. So been a couple of times Reddick grazed that wall and hit that wall. But that's not because of the contact, that's because of that's Reddick's fault. Reddick's going too fast and really bumping into that wall as you see Ryan Blaney over here is getting that good, good run. Oh, you see another contact here with, with Bush here. So a lot of contact and a lot of aggressiveness with these drivers are making contact with Reddick. Reddick is not based and uh, he's, he's really not based by the contact and again uh, these drivers are not doing it on purpose you got to figure is the track the track is having a lot of impact with tire wear and uh, these drivers are going uh, fast and they sometimes they can't control where they steer and they kind of hit the driver that's in front of them so again really not these drivers fault that they're hitting um, they're making contact with uh, uh, Tyler Reddick here. So Tyler needs to understand that. And Tyler kind of got mad that Kurt Busch did that. As you see Stenhouse right here trying to uh, get past um, uh, Reddick. And he does successfully. You gotta watch out for this corner here. This corner right here. This corner has been somewhat a, a, a hazard. And drivers known in the past to spin out there. So, gotta be careful about that corner going too fast. That's where uh, Reddick has been pretty much dominating that corner. Uh, but it's just that corner right there when he comes up. It really is going too fast and hitting that wall. 
as we as we go in. I think that's turn one. I'm not sure if that's turn one. But like I said guys, I'm not really too comfortable or I have not really raced on Phoenix yet, so this is all new to me. So I don't really know about tire wear on here. I, I know in real life Phoenix uh does have an effect on your tires. And it seems like in this game too it does, so I'm pitting way too much. I only pit it one time, but I'm actually my tires are actually going down a lot more than auto club, so But anyways, let's get back to the action here as Denhouse is trying to fight with Harvick here. As Harvick trying to get back in that top ten and hopefully uh, get in first place as David Reagan is actually in first place as David Reagan shows nice speed and, and precise tuning. And we need to be going lap 152. So what a great job by Reddick of uh, uh, staying in the uh, staying in this race. I mean, a lot of rookies with that con with that much contact would have uh, crashed already. Hey, we see another caution. So we're not gonna pit. We're gonna stay out there. We don't want again. We don't want to lose any kind of position. Um, and if we do have, if we do need a pit, we'll make a green stop pit. So I'm a green flag. I say green stop. A green flag pit stop. So again, a lot of the same. Daniel Suarez after. He needs a win. He's de definitely in prime position. Chase Elliott's here. Ty Dillon. The Rocket Man. Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch definitely needs a win. He's been doing horrible. Denny Hamlin finally won the first race. Joey Logano showing fight and trying to win his first race. David Reagan trying to win his first race. Josh Galicki is, is up there. We jumped up two spots. So here we go. Green flies back in the air here in Phoenix. And here we go. As you see Ty Dillon. Ty Dillon's right beside us as we try to just maintain speed and go up here as we try to make that good turn and we get past Kurt Busch and we're right beside Den Denny here as we're just going to stay right beside Denny try to get that good side draft from him as we do a masterful job of turning that way uh, yeah, one of the best turns, I mean one of the best uh, um, holding that line that Reddick has shown all, all a really off season actually um, here in Phoenix. Very hard to hug that bottom lane here in Phoenix. Uh, depending on how, how how your damage is and how tight your car is, very hard to, 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 to defend that bottom lane like that. More times you want to, the car is so heavy, you know, the stock car is so heavy that you just off. You really can't hold that bottom line like that. So, what a great job by Tyler Reddick and not let Denny Hamlin go. Or defending Denny Hamlin. But again, really have to check up on these turns here. I and mean, that goes so fast because there's been a couple times where he went fast. And he thought he could, you know, get a lot of speed and end up hitting the wall. So, again, Reddick, a rookie, making a rookie mistake, has to figure out these traps. You know, all tracks are not going to be the same where you felt so comfortable at Auto Club of uh, being up top, which that was his preferred line. And here in Phoenix, you really can't do that. So, got to rely on the bottom line as Joey Logano's in first place. You see Joey, Joey trying to get that first win of the year. He's been consistent, but he's really not really... Uh, being joy of old, he's been getting a lot of uh, crashes lately, or you know, a lot of contact with these other drivers. So uh, Joey Logano really uh, not really struggling this year. He's just not really being Joey. We're seeing Joey more of leading races and, and, and getting good results. As Jimmy Johnson gets past Tyler Reddick from the bottom. What a nice job by Jimmy of showing good horsepower. There's been a couple times where Reddick has lost on straightaways. So um, the engine is really not there. We, did, we don't know if that's the damage affecting the speed. Uh, 
So we've seen, seen a couple times that Redick has lost on straightaway. So we don't know what that what that all about. But again, um, we just got we just got message about Matt Pence's pit crew. Matt Pence said uh, his pit crew said that Matt Pence is DNF. So once Matt Kent has hit that wall, he DNF. So that was the report from Matt Kent's uh, pit crew. So they are very, very, um, uh, what do you call that? They are very upset that um, Matt Kent has DNF. Um, again, Matt Kent did not deserve that. And uh, you know, shows good fight here in um, the season. I think doing better than his racing teammate Kurt Busch. Um, as David Reagan loses his spot. Um, so yeah, Matt Kenseth's DNF after hitting the wall here in Phoenix. So that's the first DNF uh, uh, we actually... No, there's been two DNFs actually. So we're going to report on that. On why that driver DNF. So again, a lot of... A lot of um, mechanical failures from these cars here. Oh, as Reddick goes right in front of, right in back of Truex there. Um, Matt, uh, Matt Kessler's pit crew actually told us that it was the tires, the tire wear. Uh, you've seen Matt Kessler earlier. He went into the pits way earlier than everybody. And uh, once he got the brand new tires, uh, something was wrong, and he slammed right into the wall, and that's when he DNF. So, um, Matt Kenseth's crew said that probably there was a tire, uh, one of the tires probably had a faulty tire, and they didn't know about it, and that's why Matt Kenseth spun out. Um, they said it wasn't the front tire, they said it was the rear tire. So maybe that's why he spun out. Because the front tires, as uh, as uh, Josh Lindy is right there, and he shows that great straightaway speed. I'm very, very impressed about Josh Lindy's car. It's been fast, and he's showing, and he's not slowing down on on the, the fourth race of the year. What a great job by Lindy's pit crew, and actually more has to go with his pit crew of tuning up that car and making it competitive. Especially Josh Lindy, he does not race for a big. Um, a big um, uh, team. It's a really small team. So what? A, but what a great job by that team in understanding and um, cleaning up that car. And he's having a monster season in that car. And that number seven Chevrolet. But that's what happened to Matt Kenseth. His front rear tire went. Out. I mean, his back rear went out. And as he was coming up on the turn there, he lost control and went up that wall and crashed right head on to that wall. So Matt Kent is DNF. So that's why Matt Kent had that problem. It was a faulty tire that the pit crew did not know about. And that's why we finally got an answer of why uh, he spun out like that. That's probably why he spun out. And that first caution that he was, that he was involved in, and that's probably why. Maybe it's the suspension of the car, or maybe it's the spring. So again, a lot of mechanical failures by these um, cars of uh, you know um, of not being uh, set up right, and uh, that's why Matt Kent is DNF. So Matt Kent's crew and and um, owner and Matt Kenseth, um both are not happy with the result that they uh, they put in today. Again, we will see a different um, we will see a different um, report here and get more on Matt Kenseth's updates as the race goes on. As you see, uh, uh, Tyler Reddick is right behind Jimmy, trying to. Tyler's been showing a lot more aggressiveness that we've seen here in the first three races. He's not been really that bad uh, in, in, in aggressiveness. But again, today showing a lot more aggressiveness than what he used to. Again, he's been in a few accidents, but really not much major accidents. 
I mean, he's been in the um, Predators uh, fun out with his Stenhouse. Stenhouse is not like that, but Stenhouse really did not get um, go for revenge on, um, on Reddick. Probably didn't think it was Reddick's fault, and again, we'll get a report on that when the race is over. Um, why Reddick did that. We don't know if it was because of the position. We don't know anything. All we know is right after that happened, the caution occurred. And right when you were starting to line up again, Reddick got a good position out of that. He got 10th position, but he really didn't do anything with it because he lost it right off the restart. Because he didn't, he didn't have enough speed on the restart. So, again, interesting story. Uh, that we'll get an, uh, an update on that as you see Joey Logano as you come off turn I don't know what that is, that turn one or two I'm going to say turn two we come off turn one we come up, we come up to turn one and we see Joey here uh, lost the position to Martin Truex Martin Truex, another guy who's slow to get it going this year um but again, Mark Truex very, very good at short tracks and he's very, very good at um, at road courses. So as the season goes on, you've got to figure Mark Truex Jr. is going to wake up and get back into that form. And that's what Reddick doesn't want. Reddick wants to, early on in the year, he wants to be able to establish that good, that good goal he's got and really uh, build himself uh, a, a good on point so when that time comes later in the year doesn't really have to worry about these drivers so again another another caution comes out as Reddick is going to pit here and he just has enough time to fix the damage so we want to fix that damage because that's what's slowing us down that's probably why we could not catch up to uh, Logano we did catch up to Jimmy but we didn't catch up to Logano here so, again, we're going to take one half, uh, one and a half can of fuel because we don't want to spend too much time in the pit, but we're still on full. We're going to get four tires and we're going to fix the damage. So, again, Ryan Blaney and Josh Palicki, and they're all right there. So, um, actually, we, we lost 10 spots. So, just by, again, by fixing our damage, that four seconds that we spent in the pit, we lost valuable spots. So, again, but Josh, I mean Josh, Tyler's really not worried about that. As he didn't fall way behind. That's why he fixed the damage because he knew that his pitch was pretty, pretty good. As you see Kevin Harvick over here trying to uh, get past, um, um, I want to say Felix, get past Tyler here and does it with ease as his Stuart Haas teammate, not really having a good year, but helping Hard break out um, in Blaine Boyer. Blaine Boyer is really not done doing too good this year, but as he's right beside his Stuart Haas teammate, trying to help Kevin Harvick here. Kevin Harvick having a good year as uh, Chris Bush, I mean Chris Bush, uh, Kurt Bush, I'm sorry. Gives a little bump to Reddick saying, hey, I'm here. So, again, um, really not really upset with Reddick. Just doing some nice racing here. Um, Kurt Busch, a veteran. And he will, he will make contact with you just to let you know that he's there. But it's not much of a bad contact. It's just much of racing contact. So that's what these drivers have done so far is make racing moves and racing contact. Really not looking to spin out or crash Reddick, he just let Reddick know, hey, I'm right here, you know, you still have to worry about me, as Ty Dillon tries to get a little side draft from Dillon, I mean, from uh, uh, Reddick here, as Reddick had to slam on the brake there, uh, as, he, as he was up top and didn't want to hit that wall, and he kisses the wall, and he gets right beside Martin Truex, as he has to slow down, and Denny Hamlin, after winning the pole, Denny Hamlin has dropped somewhat out of the out of that top five. You know, he's been there before as you see Martin Truex Jr. He after that caution lost the spot. So again, um, 
Again, Reddick says that car does not feel tight, but in that just in that area right there uh, where he's coming up, he has to really slow down uh, from not drifting way up there and hitting the wall. Again, these stock cars are very hard to turn because uh, they're heavy, so you gotta pretty much have a right setup to be able to turn. And that's where uh, stability comes into play. Reddick has shown great stability so far this year, really not putting too much, um, uh, he's not really pushing the car this year. He only did that a couple, uh, one time this year, and that was uh, yesterday at Auto Club. He loosened up the car just a hair, and it helped him a little bit. So, uh, we wonder if that's gonna happen today here in Phoenix. He's gonna take a chance again. He wants to win the race. He told us that he wants to win at here in Phoenix to get the Teddy's number one here in the cup. So of course he's a rookie in the cup, so I don't know in the Infinity if he ever won here. But Teddy wants to win here just for the payout. The payout is uh, pretty good this year. So he wants to win and get first place to get that payout. As you see Ryan Newman over here tries to go behind uh, Reddick's bumper. As you see Reddick here trying to slow down and, and make this turn here. These turns are very, very tight on the car here. But again, Reddick trying, trying really not to push the car too much. As he's trying to catch up to the pack over here. Denny Hamlin after that kind of broke away. And the pack actually broke away. So again, Reddick is staying consistent and staying in that top 10. Has got 115 laps. So again, just more of the same here as uh, Reddick is kind of back of the pack here. And but Reddick has made um, himself a little bit of reason move with the guys in the back. So he's kind of stuck in the middle here. Uh, he's in front of the pack that's kind of. Got a, not a big lead, but kind of a good lead on him. Then he's got, he made himself another good lead with the guys in the back of him. So like again, he's kind of stuck in that middle. Again, the tires are making a big difference here with Reddick. The Reddick feels that he's got more grip, but he said he wants to wear down the tires just a little bit to, you know, uh, you know, get them get them tires nice and hot, and and, and so that he, he can have a uh, good speed. So again, Phoenix Phoenix Raceway is. The short track is known for having um, um, wear on your tires. Uh, again, you got to do a lot of braking, and because uh, these, these corners are so tight, that you have to do a lot of braking. So um, a lot more frequent pit stops here. Reddick made one green flag pit stop, and then he made all his pits on the on caution so very rare of the caution comes out and knowing if he should, his pit crew tells him hey you need to come into your pit uh, so he's get sort of an advantage over his uh, competitors here and we just ran our fastest lap of the, of the race to the 26 point something I, I don't can't tell because he goes too fast so we just ran our fastest lap of the race didn't do much to the car to earn that. Just got some fresh tires, that's about it. He didn't loosen up the car or nothing. So, you know, you gotta figure that, you know, maybe, you know, the long run, as Reddick goes on, the car's getting a lot more faster. So, as he makes chase with, um, as he makes contact with Chase Elliott there, um, 
that good paint scheme. I, I like uh, these uh, drivers' uh, paint schemes here, or car schemes here. As Kevin Harvick representing the Jimmy Johns over there, he was in his mobile, mobile one um, um, paint scheme. So these drivers switching up their paint scheme as you see um, uh, Tyler Reddick and the paint scheme that he he had yesterday in Auto Club, so he did not switch it up. Um, stayed in that in that paint scheme that he that he had as he tried to side draft Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez got a paint scheme for Gaunt Brothers Racing. Reddick got to really worry about that corner here. He does not want to go too far behind and go into that dog leg there. Kevin Harvick is getting right under, right beside, uh, <clears throat> getting right beside, uh, Tyler Reddick, trying to side draft Tyler Reddick, and he actually did his job, Tyler Reddick had slowed down immensely, and, uh, but you see in the previous, uh, Tyler Reddick really had a slam on the brakes, going too fast, and, uh, he was drifting up, and again, these stock cars are very heavy and very hard to turn. Especially when you got that momentum and that speed, you really can't slow you really can't turn fast enough because the car just not want to turn. As uh, Kevin Harvick goes through to play very below Kevin Harvick standing there in Phoenix. Uh, Kevin Harvick is very successful in this track. Very successful actually on this track. So uh, but it just takes a, it just takes a while for, for Harvick to get going. Once Harvard's in that zone, it's hard to get him out of that, that zone. As Tyler Reddick stays high and tries to pass Chastain, who had great, great promise in Daytona and then didn't really do anything in Vegas or in Auto Club. And doing the same, pretty much the same thing here. Just not really doing much competitive. And you, you get to figure that on these point tracks like Daytona and Talladega. Uh, very super speedways, uh, you know, you can, you can, um, anybody can win because, you know, it's a super speedway, but when you get on these more difficult tracks and these short tracks, the game plan changes and, you know, you fall back to reality and, you know, you, you, you lose. So, pretty much what Chastain did, Chastain had a pretty good car today, Kona, and it was pretty much in the top in the early of the race. And then when like it got back, it got towards the late of the race, he didn't show up. So again, Chastain showed promise in the, in the beginning, in the very first race of the year, but really dropped back down to earth and really not doing much for Spire Motor Racing. <clears throat> you see Quinn Hoff over here, Quinn Hoff in 33rd place, represented, <coughs> represented at Star Con Racing. <coughs> From Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy Johnson the 14th place. <clears throat> and again, I know I keep saying it over and over again, but I'm gonna call that guy Harrison Burton. As we get past uh, Jimmy Johnson and split the middle here, right between Joey Jace and Harrison Burton. But again, Reddick really needs to be careful about that wall there. He had a ton of momentum as he split the middle, which was very, very risky here at Phoenix. And lucky he didn't go to that wall. So very, very 
power move by Freddick of taking a chance and splitting that middle. Wow. What a great show of engine power by this number eight car. And she got 97 laps to go. Again, there's no stages. So last last game was a stage and I messed up. And that would be the last race that you see on my channel for stages. I'm looking to start another uh, cup series but with Bubba Wallace. So that 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 would be that would have stages on it. So As we see Chris Butcher down here, representing that Sunny DR, having that Sunny D car. Man, I love that paint scheme on that car. Oh, as Reddick just bumps Nemechek there. Nemechek did not like that. As kind of Reddick doing dirty moves here, is going almost off the track here at Phoenix. And you lucky. You know, you're, you're he's lucky he's not getting a black flag for that. You can actually get a penalty for that here in NASCAR. Of going off the track and coming back on it. You actually get a penalty for doing that. You gotta stay on the track. And Reddick just doing a little bit of dirty moves here. That, uh, they probably just don't see Reddick doing that. And that's, Reddick knows that and that's why he's getting away with that. You see Kurt Busch over here. In fifth place. Uh, being really consistent after his teammate DNF, uh, after some faulty tire where oh, some tire changes, um, we see uh, Matt Kenson came around in the pit in DNF. So again, uh, tire wear. I mean, uh, his, something was wrong with his rear tire that he was spinning out. Seen him spin out in the beginning of the race. Then he went to the pits, pitted, got fresh tires, came back out of the pit and hit that wall head on. So again, it was a faulty tire uh, with Matt Kenseth in, in, that, in that pit crew. That pit crew did not actually uh, uh, recognize that that tire was faulty. And you see Kirk Bush right, right there. Kirk, uh, Kirk Bush is right there trying to represent Chip Ganassi Racing. And he's actually having a bad year and trying to actually have a good outing and actually win this race in Phoenix. With Tyler Reddick, that's his goal. He wants to win this race because that payout is $23.9 million. So if Reddick wins this, him and his crew are going to have a massive payout and um, really set this car up good from the beginning of later on in the year. Uh, Reddick having a good rookie season. And uh, he keeps doing what he's doing. Uh, him, him and Belicki actually. Gonna uh, 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 put their names up there between the uh, other rookies that actually had good success here in NASCAR, like like Matt Kenseth. Matt Kenseth's DNF today, but that's like sites of like Matt Kenseth and Dale Earnhardt and um, you know all the other great that uh was in NASCAR as Austin Dillon is really not doing anything in this you know having an awful year as we get past our race from the teammate and we go past we go past this turn and we see Christopher Bell Reddick's been in the middle a lot in this race, mainly because he's not really comfortable with his race back and not really thrown it um, or has success on it. So he's really staying in the bottom or the middle of the track, which in the middle you call the sucker's hole. You never want to be in the middle of the track all the time. If you make contact, you go get loose and go up near that wall. So Reddick trying to really stay on the bottom here and uh, as he gets past Josh Kowicki Josh Kowicki didn't try to cross him up Reddick has got that nice bit of horsepower and just blows right by Balicki on the straightaway as we've seen um, Chastain over here trying to get in front of 
Reddick's way. Slow down Reddick. Reddick's not buying it though. Good front pass to stay in here. And um, Reddick's on here. As um, we've seen Reddick here a couple times. We've seen Reddick lose on straightaway sometimes. But then he will win on straightaway. So again, you know, that horsepower is coming into play. As Cole Custer really dropped back way. Still in the top 20, but still Cole Custer having a, from having a, a good Audi at the start of the race. Definitely dropped back. So we'll see if Cole Custer can turn it around. And still. Uh, and, and again, guys, you know, I'm not trying to rant here. But uh, this, that should be a flag that I'm doing. I'm going off the track and coming back on. I know this game doesn't handle black flags well. But it's just funny that you can do that. As, um, as Reddick is uh, going past McDowell here. And again, hugging that yellow line. Um, showing some great uh, control other than holding his line a little bit more better than what he has been done doing all three uh, all three uh, races. Uh, in Daytona, he really didn't hold his line well. And in Vegas, he kind of showed signs that he can hold the line. But he's mainly up top. Then in Auto Club, where he gets uncomfortable. And then here, uh, really showing that he can hold that bottom line uh, with Tyler Reddick. And go get up, try to get up to Brad Kowalski, who uh, made contact with uh, Tyler a um, few laps in, um, in the beginning of the race, or the middle of the race, actually. But again, Reddick is not phased and not, not letting the pressure of being a rookie uh, affect him. And Boyer's trying to get up there. They go three wide. Wow, they go three wide. I could have been four wide if I would have been up there. As he gets past Harrison Burton and get past Stenhouse and got past uh, Joey Gates. So, great bounce back from Clint Boyer. They really, really see Clint Boyer having an awful season like he has been. He has been. He's trying to bounce back and he's got a good position right here in third position. Again, points will be shaken up this year. After this race, we'll, go, we'll, we'll, we'll look at the post-game results. And we'll see. We'll just see if Chris Boyer, or I mean, not Chris Boyer, but um, um, where these drivers end up in the standings and where the points are. So, uh, these drivers can lose points. Even Tyler Reddick. If Tyler Reddick DNF today or something happens where he spins out or something, something uh, he can have a uh, effect on uh, the, his points. So a lot of these drivers looking for the, the, the good points or even win the race to uh, you know set themselves up to have a good year. And you see Benedetto in that nice historic 21 Wood Brothers car. A lot of good drivers had drove that car, but that car has really not had much success. Uh, really not um, had much success in that car. That car has not been in victory lane for a while, in a long time. So Matthew Benedetto trying to win his first career race and get that Wood Brother car back in victory lane. That has not had much success in a lot of years. As we see, uh, again, Chris Buescher uh, just staying back and holding his line and just staying right there. As we come up on him and we see Brian Blaney coming up here. And Ryan Blaney, he's gonna go back. Ryan Blaney, I'm so impressed with Ryan right now. He's been a consistently top 10. You know how hard it is to consistently be in top 10s all every race? It's hard. As Redick is trying to do that, what Blaney's trying to do, but actually win the race. Right now, Redick wants to win the race. And get that nice payout. And Reddick has to slow down immensely as Blaney slowed down. Reddick didn't want to make contact with him. And we're going to 
try to blow past Blaney here on the field. Blaney's not buying it. Crosses right back over and tries to get past uh, Reddick. But Reddick tries that. Wow, I'm very surprised that Reddick blows right by Blaney on that good straightaway. So we've seen, so we've seen Reddick lose on straightaways. So then we've seen him win. So it's all depending on how, what, what, I don't know how many persons get past that gas. Well, who gets on that gas first? And Tyler Reddick got on that gas really fast, and Blaney could not recover. And uh, we get past Jimmy Johnson here, and coming back to here in the middle of the pack with Daniel Suarez. And, ooh, Suarez checked up. Way too early. You see William Byron up here in that nice gold 24 hertz car. Yeah, I like these paint schemes, these different paint schemes that these drivers are, are wearing out here. And you see Tyler Reddick in that nice good paint scheme that he's got right there. Same paint scheme that he, uh, he wore at Auto Club. He tries to get past Ryan Newman here. Ryan is just too fast right now. Reddick cannot recover and get past Newman right here. Really has to check off the man that that, that 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 number six car uh, uh, for Ralph racing is pretty fast, and Newman's got a good car right here. As we finally get past Newman here, uh, doing a bit of a, a, a illegal pass, but again, Reddick's been using that all day long because they're not calling no penalty on it. Oh, you see our you see our. I'm sorry about that guys my uh something happened where it did something like that so I'm very sorry about that that my uh, microphone went out so again we're gonna be pitting here and we're not gonna we're not gonna uh we're not gonna repair the damage because the damage has already been there so so here we go, green, green flag back in the air here at uh, Phoenix, as we got 69 more laps to go, as you see Joey Logano got that good horsepower, he gets right past uh, Reddick here, Reddick is just, and again, we've seen Reddick win on straightaways, and we've seen some of these drivers win on straightaways, so what a great match of speed here. Shown by these drivers and showing that good horsepower on these straightaways. As uh, Reddick got to be careful because he doesn't want to get freight train here and lose so many positions. As you see, Blaney shows a good, good amount of speed here. As Red, Reddick really has to step on the brakes there and he's been having trouble with that corner. He cannot turn right precisely. Maybe I should use my wheel. Oh, and he gets. A contact there with somebody and there's another caution coming out did not affect him maybe we did not pit I could have sworn we pitted hmm weird I could have sworn we pitted the last time. Because you see my right front is 25%. Some of these races I will race with the controller because I don't know some tracks I feel like they don't really favor the wheel. I just feel like uh, we lost one spot. I just feel like the controller is better a little bit on some tracks. But like on super speedways and road courses, I will be using the wheel. So 
So again, oh my God! And Chris, uh, oh, he saved it. What a uh, what a weird way this has been. As Reddick didn't try to do that to Kyle. Kyle kind of checked up right when Reddick was coming, and Kyle uh, uh, Reddick got right underneath Kyle's bumper there and almost caused another accident. As um, so we don't know what's going on. Again, a very very. Uh, I wouldn't say sloppy race, but very, very, uh, um, I don't know, these drivers are like, they're like, having a lot of contact with each other. I mean, that's not what you want to see, you know, in a short track like Phoenix. You don't want to make too much contact and have a, um, crash. So Reddick didn't really lose position that much on that as he had to repair his damage uh, that um, somebody made contact with him and kind of lost control of the, of the wheel there and went right up into the wall. Oh man, that corner right there is just so, so, not really tight, you just have to slam on the brakes in that corner there. You don't want to go over there that wall, as Daniel Suarez is showing that good, good horsepower and trying to draft, side draft Reddick here, he's trying to slow Reddick down, Reddick going a little bit too fast, and Daniel, Daniel trying to get some of that side draft and get, he's trying to slow Reddick down as Reddick blow Daniel on the straightaway, so it's, you know, good good combination of horsepower that Chris Owen is, as Reddick has to slow down really, 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 tremendously, but really, uh, Daniel uh, beat Reddick on that straightaway, and then Reddick came back and um, showed through great horsepower and flew back, flew by Daniel, so what a great, you know, um, what a great uh, mixture of horsepower being shown by these drivers. Reddick does not like this corner here. He has to slow down way, way too much uh, to uh, be able to turn uh, precisely here. And especially on this corner right here where you have to really let off the gases a little bit to uh, not hit that corner there. Reddick's been up high there and uh, you know really trying to uh, um, not go fast down there. Reddick is trying to you know uh, get position back and I, again I, again I'm going to say it again these short tracks or these road courses are very tricky. Um, you can lose the path so just like on a super speedway you can lose the pack by the draft. On these short tracks, you can actually get lose the not really lose the pack, but you can actually the leaders can get so far ahead because everybody's so bunched up. They really have to slow down on these corners. And uh, depending on what kind of car setup you have, you can actually win and lose the race. So very different strategy on these on these short tracks. Reddick does not like. Um, Phoenix here. It's not that he doesn't like it. It's just, it there's so many uh, corners. I mean, there's not really. There's only. Really, I, I don't know. You just some of like this corner right here is very, very steep. And if you're going too fast, you can hit that wall. So. But anyways, Reddick trying to slow down immensely. And he just should not even hit the brake, he should let the car roll. But again, the, the, the car is kind of, not really fast, but it's semi-fast. And he really needs to um, use the brake and uh, to be able to turn precisely. He's been in a few accidents today, but not the big one. So, what a great job by Tyler Reddick staying out of the big one this year. Um, He's been close to being in the big one, but not actually being part of the big one. So there's a big difference with that, as he has not DNF'd 
acting this year. So what a great job by Tyler Reddick. Uh, you know, trying to stay out of uh, traffic and stay out of trouble. And um, not really trying to DNF and having some good outings here for racing. Again, he's, he's in that goal. But it's still, again, it's still early in the race that anything can happen. Um, but definitely, I, I see the difference with the tire wear with the computer. As soon as I switch the tire wear with the computer, the computer is a lot more faster. So, that's what I like to see. I don't like to see them slowing down like that for more tire effect. So, I like to see that. I, I'm glad I, I went into that setting and changed it. Ooh, that's right, I got... Again, that, that, like that gravitational pull where that wall comes into play and Reddick has to slam on the brakes there and really stay out of that, uh, that corner right there. So, what a great job for Tyler Reddick of, um, not going so much, so much faster in these corners, but you can get so caught up in going fast and really forget about the corners and you can really hook yourself into that. Just like Matt Kenseth did, Matt Kenseth did not. Um, but that was a faulty tire of, of Matt. We finally got an update with Matt. So that was more of the, of the rear tires uh, squealing out instead of the front. Usually it's the front tires that that gives you problems on track like this. But Matt Kenseth had a faulty uh, back wheel, so that's why he DNF. You can see everybody trying to stay in their spot right here. And it's kind of spaced out right now. And you see Joey Logano, is, Joey Logano, if he wins this race, man, he'll jump right back up into them standings, man, he'll be right there. So what a great job by Joey, and, um, trying to, uh, stay in, um, uh, openly trying to, uh, set himself up to have a, um, uh, a, a win out here in Phoenix. Again, guys, I want to win this race. I mean, I, I want to win it so bad, so I'm going to try my best to win. And, oh, oh, Reddick, Reddick tries to drive it deep, way deep into that corner there, and gets past Ty Dillon here. Ty Dillon did not really appreciate that. You could tell by the way his manner is in that car. He did not really like what Reddick did there. There was no need for Reddick to do that. So, Ty, Ty, you got to figure Ty Dillon is going to get some kind of comeback or revenge on Reddick here. As Reddick tries to catch up to Ryan Newman here as Ryan's holding that line and trying not to make a mistake you see uh, Ryan trying to not drift up there's been a couple of times where these drivers they don't hold that line that well that bottom line they drift up and um, a driver can go right underneath you and steal your spot so you were very alert about that and, and know his position So we're catching up to the middle of the pack here as Newman is in 13th place. So a lot of these guys are spread out. They're spread out as Newman steps on the brake. You see the smoke coming from Newman's tires as he steps on the brake as we get past him. And Newman did not like that either. So a lot of these drivers don't like what Reddick's doing here. Especially on the bottom lane when he's going below that yellow line with that's a penalty as Hamlin's in 8th place so we're trying to get Hamlin in there and get past Hamlin as we do and Hamlin that was a setup move Hamlin's a veteran he knows that trying to cross back to right I mean trying to get that nice horsepower and that Dodge Camry I mean that that Toyota Camry but the Chevy is way too uh it, it's got some horsepower too says Tyler Reddick and he's not intimidated by Denny Hamlin and we try to go up there and Try to go up towards this pack and catch up to Joey. Joey's got a big lead here. And again, that's what can happen. Now again, I've been saying it over and over again. That can happen in these short tracks. Where you get so caught up in this lap traffic that the leaders can actually break away from you. And that's what's happening today. And you can get so much caught up in these lap traffic to fight the position that the leader can actually break away from you. So hopefully we can get a caution to the system. If this if this rides out to green, Joey Logano's going to win his first race of the year. Actually, we got not really that much back. You see some cars right beside Logano, uh, or right back of Logano. But you see in 
in Tyler's situation, um, Joey Logano's got a big lead on him. So, um, again, if, if Tyler Reddick fights with these laps, or these, I call it lap traffic, the traffic, as we get our first, as we get uh, another cost. So again, Reddick got his wish. Joey Logano was breaking away from him. He didn't, he wanted to actually keep up with Logano. And he got everybody back together. So we're not going to pit here. Actually, we can actually see who, who else be in that instead of Matt Kenseth. Oh, there's three guys that DNF. Oh, actually, there's four. So our RCR teammate, Austin Dillon, DNF. David Reagan. Wow. And BJ McLeod. So, again, heavy stipulations on the points here. BJ McLeod had a good day. Consistently in top 10. These last three races. Well, he fought in points. And some other drivers come up towards it. So, again... Great implications by points here. As uh, the green flag back in the air, we got 38 laps to go. Reddick's been in that hole here where he's been in the top 10 uh, all day, all race long. So what a great job by him and what a great showing by him. The thing about that is, is that he wants to win this race as he, he shows great horsepower and gets past Baliki and uh, Kurt Wood there as he's fighting for position here. Uh, as Balicki, again, I've been really happy with Balicki, uh, of his showing here, as a rookie, and it's not really a really good car either, I mean, he's not really in a five-star ride, and actually getting consistently top ten, so what a great job by Josh Balicki, of, of driving, um, and everything, as, um, Martin Truex Jr. is really not defending that bottom, he made a mistake, but he did not, cost him. It did not cost him because he had that he had good speed and good horsepower to um, um, keep in front of Reddick. As he made, again he made his mistake not really blocking that well but he's not really he's not really trying to do that. What Martin Truex is trying to do is he's trying to beat uh, Reddick off the not off the corner but he's trying to beat him off the straightaway and it's, it's working a little bit but Again, Reddick showing that good speed and that insane he has horsepower too. So that that Dodge, I mean, that, I keep on calling that that I keep on calling that Toyota, but that I mean Dodge Toyota. I'm sorry, two different manufacturers actually. Uh, that Dodge, I'm oh, keep on saying Dodge again. That Toyota Camry is um, got some horsepower, but he's showing that um, the Chevrolet Cam uh, Camaro got some horsepower too. As uh, he tries to catch up to Joey Logano, um, he's actually helped Reddick out here. Um, not really helped him out, but kind of helped him out in Daytona. Um, as he helped Jimmy get his first win. So Joey Logano helped Jimmy Johnson win in Daytona and gave him a great push. He's the cause of Reddick not winning Daytona. I think uh, Reddick could have won Daytona if Joey Logano did not push. Uh, Jimmy Johnson out to the front, and uh, he got himself a good uh, spot too by actually getting past Reddick and being in number two spot. As they're fighting for position here, this is what you want. You want to be able to fight as they're side by side with each other. Who's gonna win? Who's got that good horsepower? And it seems like Reddick's gonna beat Logano. Uh, but again, Logano. Uh, Logano showing um, that he's very quick on these corners and Reddick is very slow on these corners so just because um, Joey is losing on straightaways doesn't mean that he's losing any corner speed so again you see Reddick has to really really slow down on these corners and that's what's giving Logano an opportunity to burn Reddick off these corners now Joey starts beating uh, Reddick off the straightaway, that's when Reddick is in trouble. Because then he can never catch up to Logano. So, gotta keep that in mind. And there's been a couple times in the race that Reddick has lost on straightaways. So, we'll see if that continues to happen here. Our 
Oh, and, and again, we, we, we just talked about it. As Logano got speed, again, has to slow down on the corners. So really has to slow down on the corners. And that's giving Logano enough speed to catch up as Logano actually made his... Didn't really make a mistake, but really had to slow down. But Logano's been showing great corner speed lately. And you gotta figure that his car is pretty, pretty light. It's not really that heavy. That's why he's able to keep that speed on these corners. Because his car is very light, very easy to turn to keep that speed. When Reddick really has to slow down because his car feels heavy. And uh, hold, try to hold the bottom line so he won't get under, uh, he won't get caught underneath. As we got 28 laps to go. And as you can see, he's maintaining that speed. He's got a 20, he just ran 27 something, so he's losing speed actually, and that's because of the laps and the corners here. And, and tire grip, tire wear, the, the grip of the tires are just falling off tremendously here in this raceway. As uh, we see our first um, lap traffic actually. And, uh, this is what Reddick wants. Reddick wants to break his way, break away from Logano a little bit and get in front of that lap traffic so Logano can be caught off in lap traffic. But again, Logano's showing that he can get around lap traffic. So, pretty much a toss up here as he's kind of breaking away from Logano. If we got 26 laps to go, again, a nice payout here for whoever wins this race. So $29.6 million. So if Reddick does win this race, him and his crew and RCR will be set up perfectly. And this is what Richard Childers wants. Richard Childers wants that payout. And he wants uh, either Austin Dillon or uh, uh, Tyler Reddick to win this race for him so he can get that nice payout. And even Reddick gets that nice payout. So Reddick's trying to do what he can to win this race in here in Phoenix. But again, he really has, he doesn't like the track, but, you know, can't pick the track to win as just gotta win. <laughs> as Eric Amarola is having a bad, bad, bad season, as he's in 31st place, you don't really see that from Eric, uh, Eric Amarola. Um, some, some, I don't know, it's hit and miss with Amarola, he can have a good race. One day, and then the next couple of days, he can have an awful race, and then he'll be back in there and have a good race again. So he's kind of like, I don't know, he's kind of like in that, um, kind of like bipolar. He's like bipolar race. He'll have a good race, then he'll just, he'll have a good race. Then he'll be, he'll be kind of inconsistent. As we catch up to Harrison Burton, who's driving that. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing. Like I said, I don't want him calling Bobby Carter. I mean, he, he, I don't even know why he's in the Cup Series in this game. I just call him Harrison Burton. As Harrison Burton, uh, get past him. As Joey Logano, again, this is what Reddick wants. He wants to get Logano in that lap traffic and break away from Logano. Now, the only thing that can hurt... Uh, uh, Reddick here as his tire wear, as his tire starts to wear as the lap goes on. Joey is not really, I don't know, Joey, I don't know, I can't really tell if Joey's tires are getting that, uh, that bad. But you can see Tyler Reddick's tire wear starts to really fall off here at the late stages of his race here. And, um, um he does not want to cost him. This is the time where Reddick does not want to cost him. He wants to stay green so uh, he can get a, a big lead and, and be able to uh, not have the pack punched up together. Because if he gets that pack punched up together, that caution can really hurt his chances on winning because everybody will be back together. And again, he has not had good restarts. Not like we've seen at Auto Club, where he's had that good restart. Um, in Phoenix here, he had an awful restart, and that's not really showing much speed on restarts. And it kind of gets, it kind of uh, 
has to get the car going. Like, the car has to get going to get fast. So again, really not good. This car is really not that that good as far as it's been good, good, but it's been kind of average, you know. Um, it really uh, at the beginning it really uh, was slow, and then as the rain went on and the race went on, it got fast. So uh, very different outcomes from Vegas and Auto Club, where. In Auto Club, it shows sign of being slow at the at the late stages of the race. This is where we see where we get faster as the run goes on. We're getting faster, but we have to really slow down to turn on the corners here. So that's what Freddy does look like. 17 laps to go, and again, he's maintaining that speed. He's been in like the 27th. He just ran a 27.207, so he's been in that 27 range in a lot of time, and he's really not dropping off on his speed that much, so that's good. He keeps maintaining that speed, and uh, yeah, Joey Logano is way back there. Joey Logano is hoping for a caution here, so he can get back, so he can um, have everybody back together, and maybe have a chance to win. Because uh, if he gets a caution, he could win the race. Again, uh, um, Tyler Reddick has really not shown that he can um, have good restarts today. So, yeah. He has not shown that um, his restarts are really that bad. He's coming off really, really slow. And, um, and Joey Logano knows that. And, um, if that happens, Joey Logano smells the blood and he's going to go for the kill. As uh, Tyler Reddick does not want that to happen and he's hoping for not a, a, a caution to occur. He wants it to stay clean. And you can see here that his tire wear is starting to fall off tremendously as he got 14 more laps to go. He's got a really big lead on, on Logano. He can really kind of babysit the throttle here. And not really force anything. He kind of like put his foot off the throttle a little bit, like what he's doing now. Kind of like not really trying to go fast, but trying to babysit that tire wear and not let it fall off that much because he's got such a huge, not a huge lead, but he's got a decent lead on Logano. Logano's just so caught up in lap traffic over here. So. The thing about it is, is Tyler Reddick is on lap track, or he sees lap track, so he's getting around him pretty easily. Ooh, and Chastain gets right in back of, I mean, of, of, of Reddick there. Almost spun Reddick out. Reddick really didn't know if he did that on purpose or not, but Chastain really known to be aggressive in his career. And, uh, yeah, um, we don't know if that was intentional or not, but again, Chastain known for being way aggressive over his career. And Johnson is in 15th place as he started. Pretty good. He's in the top 20. That's good. That's always good. And uh, we're going to see where these, where these drivers are. And they're not a lap down. So we got 2x in 5th place. We got Blaney. He's always been in the top, top 5. Good Boyer actually bounced back from Daytona and uh, Vegas and Auto Club. So what a great job by Cliff Boyer of bouncing back and trying to get a good spot. And uh, Joey Logano is hoping for a caution so he can win his first race. And after several attempts, uh, Kevin Harvick dropped back. Not really dropped way back, but got a figure over his career. He's been good here in Phoenix. We don't know why um, Kevin Harvick dropped that back that much. Knows his track very, very well. And pretty much he's the king in Phoenix. Uh, he had much, uh, he had a lot of success here as um, we get past Harrison Burton here. And we're coming up on Joey Gates here. And that tire wear starts to really really be a factor here as you got a little bit over 20 laps to go in fuel here so again pit strategy will come into play here and 
We got eight laps to go. So we gotta figure. Does Reddick really wanna caution? After these horrible restarts that he's been getting, is does he wanna caution at this point? To get everybody back together so he can actually uh hit and not lose the you know, not lose his position. Or does he wanna pit on green? and willing to take that chance, just take right side. That's all we need to do, take the right side and rely on that left side to hold up here in Phoenix. Because if he takes four tires, that's gonna, that's gonna spend a lot of time in the pit. He doesn't want that. So he's gonna wanna take the right side. So if he's willing to take that chance to go in pit road and rely on his pit crew to put right side and hurry up and get out there and get that position back that he lost. But I don't think Reddick's gonna do that. I think Reddick's gonna try to hold on to this uh, uh, to this tire wear that is dropping immensely. And hopefully that he cannot, the tire wear cannot go that bad. And if this stays green, which that's what he wants. He wants this to stay green. He's got a big lead over Logano. After struggling, after struggling with this track and struggling to get up to the top all day long, he's finally got a chance to win his second race of the year and second cup career win in his career. And he said in an interview before this race even began, he said in an interview, I want to win this race. I, I want to win it so bad for Richard Childress, and that's what he's showing up there. Not only for Richard Childress, but RCR. So what a great job by Tyler Reddick of um, um, holding that responsibility and, and, and willing to win, a, win, a, win this for Richard Childress. As we go up to Ryan Newman and Eric Jones, as we got three more left to go, so it seems like the tire wear is going to hold out for Tyler Reddick. Again, the only thing that he has to worry about, because he feels like he's loose right now. He feels like he wants to spin out because of the tire wear. So he really has to really babysit that throttle and not be so aggressive as he's going to let Eric Jones go here because he does not want to spin out because of the tire wear. So he has to really get off his apron here. And you can tell he's slowing down really, really immensely. He's got two more laps to go here in Phoenix. And again, he does not want Joey Logano to um, catch up. So again, you can tell that he is not really pushing the throttle down. He's kind of babysitting, kind of letting it off and then letting his foot off the gas a little bit. And then getting back on it. So he's got himself a big lead here. And it looks like he will win his second race of the year. White flag is in the air here. Phoenix and again. He won this for Richard Children's Racing in RCR. And that's what he wanted. And Tyler Reddick is, is going to do that. And he's going to win his second race of the year. And second win of his career in Cup. So what a great job by uh, Tyler Reddick. And here we go. He won his second race of the year. And he won for Richard Children's Racing and RCR. Really did not show a really dominant race, but that's what he did as he's going to successfully turn that burnout as he finally won one here in Phoenix. Oh, and he, that could have been a DNF, guys. That could have been, that could have been a DNF. So what an awful, awful uh, 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 burnout by uh, Tyler Reddick here. But what a great job by Tyler Reddick of winning here in Phoenix and winning one for Richard Childress. And he got that nice payout. He got that 23.9 or uh, 23.9 uh, million dollars by winning this race. So that's what he wanted. He wanted to win that for Richard Childress and himself and the number eight uh, crew. And he put himself good up in points. So what a great job by Tyler Reddick of uh, winning this race and doing what he wanted to do. And actually, after he struggled in this race, I mean he he had a fight. All the way. These these cars were fast today. 
and they even gave him some bumping and contact, and he was not phased at all by a rookie. So what a great job by Tyler Reddick. As he's going to go in victory lane, and we're going to go look at the standings here. As, uh, again, Tyler Reddick won his second race of the year and put himself up in good points. So what a great job by Tyler Reddick there. And we see Joey Logano. Joey Logano is in second, came in second. Had a chance to win, but really relying on a caution. He really could not have, really could not uh, get that caution. Um, as Clint Boyer get some kind of point for having a horrible year. Uh, not uh, uh, having a horrible three races. As Blaney, again, Blaney got them points. He's consistently stayed in top ten. So, Ryan Blaney again, Ryan Truex, Martin, I mean Ryan Truex, Martin Truex Jr. Uh, got a, a top 10. So, what a great job for him. And uh, Kyle Busch came in 6th place. So, Kyle Busch starting to be in top 10. And Kyle Busch jumped that and get that magical first win. And put himself up into good position. As Josh Balicki, Josh Balicki, another rookie. Again, top 10. So he has a chance to be Rookie of the Year, but I don't think he's going to get that because Tyler Reddick is a rookie here and Tyler Reddick is leading in points and he's won two races. Josh Balicki hasn't. So again, there's sort of a rivalry with those two. Not in so much the track and bumping and contact. Not so much that. The rivalry with Balicki and Reddick now is the Rookie of the Year because they both been in top 10. The only difference is that Reddick's won two races. Balicki hasn't. Balicki only been in top 10. So that's a rivalry right there. As you see on the great replay with uh, Joey Logano and um, uh, Joey Logano and um, and uh, Tyler Reddick going side by side. Um, you know what? A, what, what a great show of horsepower by Tyler Reddick and Joey Logano. So Kurt Busch finally got a top ten. He finally broke out of that mid thirties that he was finishing in. Denny Hamlin, after starting on the pole, got still in the top ten. Still got good points. And he's in the playoffs. Then he's not worried. As he gets himself in ninth place. And Ty Dillon, after being a lap down, got is in the top, rounds out the top ten. So again, we're gonna see who um after a strong showing Chase Elliott and Kevin Harvick, after owning this track over his career, Kevin Harvick got in a decent spot, got himself a top twenty, but I mean he could have he wanted to win the race. Ryan Newman Still the same. Daniel Suarez failed his goal. Went two laps down after showing good promise there. Failed his goal. And um, he really needed a win. And Jimmy Johnson. Um, still the same. Matthew Benedetto. Brad Kowalski is having a horrible year. Uh, he needs to really bounce back. And what I mean by that is he needs to get good pole. Like he needs to win the pole. He needs to have a good uh, qualifying position. And then he really needs to maintain that speed and maintain that confidence in that position, in that spot that he won from qualifying and really set himself up to be a, to win a race. Because right now Brad Kowalski is doing absolutely horrible in, in, in the season here. As um, Ricky Stenhouse is... Uh, a 18th and Cole Custer actually bounced back pretty good from again being in the down in the pack like in the 30s and Ryan Priest is your 20th driver that got the top 20 so Christopher Bell, Alex Bowman and Eric Jones, William Byron uh, all these drivers Eric Amarola he should just give up on the season because he's doing absolutely horrible uh, Michael McDowell Quinn Hall, Rockford Kane, so all Austin Dillon should just give up to. I'm um, sorry to say that, but he's really not. He's just laying down. He's not showing any kind of fight. Um, nothing. I tried to draft him, and he doesn't want to go anywhere. So 
I'm not going to help out Austin Dillon if he doesn't want to be helped out. David Reagan, after um, really showing good prominence in um, um, uh, of this race, DNF, BJ McLeod DNF, so points is going to hurt BJ, because BJ's been in the top 10. Um, I got to look at the standings in uh, like Daytona and Vegas and Auto Club to see where BJ McLeod ended up in them races, but I'm not sure. But I know he's been doing good, so that's good. Matt, Ken he DNF, so some, some other drivers like Clint Boyer and all these other drivers, they got, they had a decent showing today. I, I, I think Clint Boyer, he had a top 10, right? Yeah, he came in third place, so Clint Boyer bounced back. So he got himself in the top 10, and he, can, he got like, what, maybe 38 points? Yeah, 38 points today. So he can actually stay up with BJ McLeod. I think BJ McLeod has still got more points than Clint Boyer did. But again, Clint Boyer, you know, if BJ McLeod never did that in DNF, Clint Boyer would have never, his points would have never meant anything. So what a great job by um, by Clint Boyer. But what a, what bad luck for BJ McLeod. Matt Kenton DNF. Uh, after we got a report from his, he had a faulty tire, so that's why he DNF. So there, there goes your result, guys. Again, Tyler Reddick wanted to win one for Richard Childress, and he did. Not only for Richard Childress, he wanted to win one for his number eight, his number eight team, and for himself, and to set himself up for his second career win. And and build himself up. And, and have a semantic lead as we go into the next race. So what a great job by um, what a great job by um, Tyler Reddick as a rookie. So he's setting himself up to be rookie of the year. Of course, Josh Balicki, if he starts winning races, then um, that race will become tighter. So what a great job by Tyler Reddick. But that was for you, Richard Children. So as we gonna you see the results, and we're gonna see. Um, the standings here. So yeah, Ryan Blaney passes uh, Kevin Harvick in the standings. And again, Josh Balicki fighting for Reddick with that rookie of the year. But if Reddick, man, if Reddick keeps winning races and he keeps showing consistency in top 10, Balicki has no chance. And you gotta kind of figure that Balicki is gonna fall back down to earth pretty soon here as the race, as the season goes on. He's not really gonna have consistent top 10. So you gotta figure Balicki is actually gonna drop back down to earth. But there goes your win. Uh, I mean, there goes your results. As Kevin Harvick went to fourth, Joey Logano went to fifth. Stayed neutral. So Joey stayed neutral after getting that okay position here. And Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin and Chase Elliott, Mark Truex and Jimmy Johnson is still rounds up the top ten in the standings. So there goes th there it is, guys. There goes the results standing and we're gonna see as we're gonna visit uh reddick in victory lane here as this would be his second time going into victory lane and the second time he put that number eight car in victory lane as he celebrates with his pit crew so we're gonna we're gonna check out that moment here too so here we go tyler reddick as he won here in phoenix he uh, he wanted to kept the car kind of clean didn't really keep it clean He's hit that wall and almost got in a big accident. So, you gotta figure, man. You gotta figure that it's only gonna be a matter of time before Tyler Reddick gets into that big crash. That he's gonna be in that big one. So, you gotta figure. There's only a matter of time before that happens. But he got his wish. He wanted to win this race. He told us he wanted to win it. He said he wanted to put that number 8 car in victory lane in Phoenix. And that's what he did. And he won one for, and he got that big payout for Richard Childress. He said he wanted to win one for RCR and Richard Childress. And he got himself, he did what he wanted to do. So there you see Tyler Reddick in victory lane. As we see the stories of the race, as Joey Logano ran his fastest lap. He had the fastest lap of the whole race. And Joey Logano, again, led the most laps of Phoenix. And, and he's on the move again. Starts from the back and ends up in the front. At tough break, Matt Kenseth, we know the story about him. He started 8th, finished 40 DNF because of that 
those right rear tires. So again, uh, Tyler Reddick having a magical rookie season, just like a lot of these drivers are having outstanding years. But again, you got to figure that they're going to come back down to earth and uh, uh, the fun has just begun. So as we say goodbye to Phoenix, and actually guys, that's actually been my first time I've ever won in this game in Phoenix. So what a big accomplishment for me too. Uh, controlling Tyler Reddick. And uh, not being too familiar with the track. But just, yeah, just staying right there. So what a great job by me. And again, I turned the music off because I don't want to really get copy. I mean, I'm not, I'm not big at all. I'm trying to really get this channel going. And uh, be a racing channel. And I just don't want to get copyrighted by uh, having the music on. And people do read. Because uh, uh, people do view my stuff. I see it on YouTube. They do uh, view my channel and watch it. And I gained a couple of subscribers actually. Uh, so. But I just don't want to get copyrighted. If I actually do get kind of like huge. I don't want to get copyrighted in these videos. Uh or to get in trouble with uh anything so there you go uh tyler reddick is uh in victory lane one more time one more time uh the next speedway is at atlanta so another track that i'm not too familiar with with this game there's a lot of tracks that actually i'm not too familiar with with this game because i'm new to the heat series but we're going to check out the standings one more time before we go and check out the playoff standings, which is stayed neutral as we're in number we're in first place again and Denny Hamlin, Jimmy, and Ryan and Bullicky and Harvick and Logano and Kyle Bush uh is in the playoffs. And they got good points actually from that race actually. And staying really good competitive, but you see the only one that really is striking fear in um, in uh, in in Reddick's game is Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney's got 134 points. So if Reddick can fall back down to earth, Ryan and all these drivers around here can catch up. So just because Reddick has a not a big lead, but kind of like a you know sizable not a sizable lead, but kind of like a good lead doesn't mean that these drivers can't catch up because you can't win them all as we're going to go look at the other at the bottom of the playoff standings as Chase Elliott is still right there and Martin Truex and Matthew Benedetto is actually trying to get the Woods Brother cars going and Kurt Busch is finally wake, woke up from his funk and had a good good outing out in Phoenix and made himself into the playoffs. So again, a lot of these drivers are losing positions and gaining positions. And that's how NASCAR goes. It's just the drama full of that and the funism and the realism about it. And we see Eric Jones, he dropped out. I mean, he didn't drop out of the playoffs, but he dropped out of that position. I think he was in like, I don't know. I think he was in eighth place or something. I think he was in Chase Elliott's place where Chase Elliott is right now. But, um, again, a lot of these playoff drivers, they really need to start winning races and, um, and getting good points and, and not winning, not really winning races, but just getting good spots, you know, to keep up and, and really not fall out of that, out of the points as, uh, Ryan Newman, um, went up a spot and BJ McLeod went down a spot by DNFing again, BJ McLeod, what a tough break for DBJ. I uh, really did not notice that BJ McLeod DNF'd. So what a what a tough break for uh, BJ McLeod. Uh, but again, there's only be a matter of time before Josh Balicki falls back down to earth. And when he does, will he hit rock bottom, or will Reddick hit rock bottom and Balicki win his first race and keep continue races? So what a good rivalry going with Balicki and Reddick. Who needs wins? William Byron needs a win after showing that good promise 
and being in the top ten at 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 um at um in the beginning of those three races and really faltered, really did not show up. And Ricky Stenhouse is still searching for that first win. Uh, Matt Kenseth is uh, looking for Joey Gase is looking for a win, and so is Ty Dillon. So Ty Dillon came close to getting that first win as he was in the top five or the top 10 in the race and really fell back to reality and went back to the back. Who needs points? Christopher Bell needs points. And Clint Boyer needs points. After He's kind of gaining spots here. He's not really... He doesn't really need to be that concerned with points right now. It's still early on in the season. we got a long way to go. And Clint Boyer knows that. He's a veteran. He knows that. He just needs time to, to get going. Brad Kowalski definitely needs points. He's not really showing the Brad of old. Uh, he's there and then he's not. So he's going to have a lot of fighting with his car and having a lot of problems with his car. Maybe it's his car. We don't know what's going on with Brad. But hopefully we can get a report on the next race in Atlanta. Ryan Priest, he needs, a, he needs points. He's behind. And Daniel Suarez is way behind after a uh, pretty strong starting, but again, he didn't finish well. So a lot of these drivers, they in the beginning, in the middle of the race, they're in there. They're in that middle pack, and they go up top. I mean, they go, you know, in the top ten, and then like in the and at the end of the race, they fall back. So they're really not up. They don't really keep that spot. They keep dropping back. So, they need to switch up the strategy and they need to uh, switch up their game plan. But Tyler Reddick set out to do what he wanted to do. He told us he he wants to win this race. He did win it, and he said the only he not not only for himself, but he said he wanted to win one for Richard Childress Racing, and that's what he did. He won one for Richard, and got that big payout. So what a great job by Tyler Reddick. All we need to do is get Austin Dillon going. Once we get AD going. Who's going to stop RCR? So once we get AD going, who knows? And that's what we want. We want AD. We want Austin Dillon in that playoff. We don't want to leave him out. So if we have to force AD to get going, Tyler's going to do that. So we thought that would be the other way around with Austin Dillon. We thought Austin Dillon and Tyler, uh, uh, was going to do that and Tyler Reddick was going to struggle in his rookie year. Hasn't been the same. Hasn't been like that. It's been... Tyler Reddick having success in that number 8 car which the number 8 car was the 31 car that really have not had much success over the years so Tyler Reddick really really changing the history of this of, um, of that car so what a great job by Reddick but that's it guys if you like what you, you like what you see you like what you hear make sure you comment subscribe and uh, like this video the more likes you get the more that peop other people will start viewing my content and and, and 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 do that. And we got more stories coming up for th for this season with Tyler Reddick. I mean, I got a couple other seasons, but I've been so I've been so immense in this season right now with Tyler Reddick. I've been so it's been fun of doing this with uh, of this race. I never had so much fun uh, in a racing video game of commentating over the struggles of the race and uh, Tyler Reddick and everything. So I've been really, really uh, fun with that. So uh, the more likes I get, the more uh, views uh, other people have a chance to visit my channel and and really view my content. So if you guys like what you see and, and you want to uh, see more of Tyler Reddick, because trust me, he's going to struggle. Uh... Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm very uh, new to the heat game, uh, these heat games, and there's some kind of things I don't like about the game, and there's some things I love about the game. So, um, I have not had much time with the tracks. Like, I don't practice the tracks a lot, but maybe you guys can see me practice um, in, in, um, in the season and get familiar with the tracks and what lane works and what lane doesn't. Because, you know, guys, I love the top lane but in like just like in real life the top lane doesn't always work just like in real life so you guys like what you see you like you guys like it 
make sure you uh like i said comment and make sure you give this a like and even subscribe to me that would be uh helpful for me the more views i get the more other people see my content because i went on youtube a couple of days or yet last night and i typed in heat 5 uh championship mode and i didn't even see my videos pop up so i'm very small channel so the more likes and the more subscribers that i get maybe the more likes the more views that i get so the more the engine starts to pop up my channel so that so like i said keep coming back keep supporting me this has been blades only off the top or on the top lane and i will be back Either tonight or maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll have a double header. Like I'll have Tyler Reddick and then I'll have Josh Balicki. Because I'm, I'm, I got a season in the Xfinity season with Josh Balicki. So Josh Balicki in that season I won the Daytona and I won the uh, Las Vegas. So, um, and like I said, he's he's going to be, next will be in Phoenix. So, but I'm having so much fun in this, in this season with Tyler Reddick so again I don't mean to stay out uh stay in there you guys be safe like comment subscribe and you guys have be safe and have a wonderful day this has been blades only from on the top lane and I would definitely be back with more content and like I said if you like the content uh subscribe and you know I will be back with more content thank you